kapa lo sandra pe shabla soad chenan kula du dansen du dangana jigipa de da da ci sono anch'i de da ghiaccio to par sho in qualunque direzione qualunque essere malato o sofferente che ci sia possa in virtù dei nostri meriti raggiungere un oceano di salute, felicità e benessere. May beings anywhere who suffer tormented in their minds and bodies by virtues of our merits reach wellness and happiness in boundless measure. Grazie. So, buongiorno, adesso facciamo, cominciamo con questo, ok? Aspettate un attimo. Ok. Ger Jerry, si, si mette, io comincerò in tibetano, lì ci sono le fenetici, ok? Namo Guru Pie, Namo Buddhaya, Namo Tamaya, Namo Sangaya, Namo Guru Pye, Namo Buddhaya, Namo Tamaya, Namo Sangaya, Namo Guru Pye, Namo Buddhaya, Namo Dhammaya, Namo Sangaya, Namo Tri Ratnaya, Sangye Chita Sogi Chonamla, Jancu Padu Dani Kyasuchi, Dagi Jin Sogi Peso Nanki, Rula Penchi Sangye Drupasho, Sangye Chita Sogi Chonamla, Jancu Padu Dani Kyasuchi, Dagi Jin Sogi Peso Nanki, Rula Penchi Sangye Drupasho. Sem Chen Tam Che De Wa Tan De Wa Gyu Tan Dem Pa Gyu Chi. Sem Chen Tam Che Du Nyal Tan Du Nyal Ki Gyu Tan Dra Wa Gyu Chi. Sem Chen Tam Che Du Nyal Me Pe De Wa Da Mi Dra Wa Gyu Chi. Sem chen tam chen ye rin cha ta ha ni dan Tre we tam nyon la ne pa gyu chi Sem chen tam chen lu sen gyi du hu ne le So shin tra yu lu sen te wa ta Dem pa gyu chi Sem chen tam chen nao so to chi hin chi na No chu ko yu Sama ne gyu chi Sem chen tam che dan san bu li hin ki kye do Ta dan chi nan ki shi te tang Tu kun dan pa gyu chi 
Tam jedu ni sashita se mala so hobme patan la tiltania bedurie raji jam pohone gyuchik la tami chopese no su sham tahaniki tru kuza chutrin la name Naka ka ku hun kya kyu chi O namo bhagavati bhaza sawa pramadhani tata gatai Ahate samya sambuddha Tayata o benze benze maha benze maha tetsa benze maha vidya benze maha bodhi chita benze maha bodhi Samkramana benze sawakama awarana bishudana benze soha kuncho sunggi tempatan sangye tanjya chusepa tamje gigi gilatan soniyo susope nadan chempodan Chokhi nampa da chin sanggi Mikya pe togi de shi ni du gyu chi Malu sem chen kung gyi kung gyu chi Du te pu je he mi se jom se la No na malu ya da kien gyu pe Chom den ko che he ne di she su su. Go son go pe go ne cha se lo. No sha yi tru ho chu pa ma lu bu. To me ne sa di tun tam che sha. Ke pa ke wa ha nam la che yi rang. Ko wa ma to ba du le shu ne Ro la chu ki hi ko lo ko wa da Ta shen jen na jan chu chen po no Sa ji pe ki ju shi me to tra Ri ra li shi hi ni de gen pa di San ge shin tu mi te bo wa ki Nam da ha shin la chu pa sho I tam guru ratna mandala kam niryata yami Ah, okay. Lama tupuang tindralma kyan. Maybe somebody can read it. Maybe Carlotta, maybe you read. Even I know that Daphne is there for the translation, but maybe anyway you read for everybody in the gompa, yeah? Yeah, please, in, in Italiano, sì, 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 siamo quasi tutti italiani qui, no? Okay. Oh, okay. Oh, Ti so prego, okay. guaritore supremo, okay, Guru Shakyamuni, onnisciente, tu che possiedi la capacità di trasformare tutti i fenomeni e di guarire tutte le malattie. Faccio richiesta a te, che possiedi gli 84.000 antidoti, per curare le 84.000 malattie del corpo e della mente di questa era degenerata del Kali Yuga. Faccio richiesta a te, che hai ricevuto richiesta dal Bodhisattva Manjushri, quando il tuo supremo corpo di emanazione dimorava al centro del mondo, sulla cima del Monte Meru, il luogo di Indra, affinché ti manifestassi con una emanazione capace di curare le innumerevoli sofferenze che caratterizzano quest'era degenerata. Faccio richiesta a te che sorgesti come il Buddha della medicina nella terra pura come il lapislazzoli, con, a sud, il Vindaya, la montagna del fulmine, luogo di piante che curano tutte le malattie calde della bile. A nord, Ganshen, la montagna della terra delle nevi, con piante che curano tutte le malattie fredde della flemma. A ovest, il Malaya, la montagna fredda, con innumerevoli piante medicinali. A est il Bongaden, la montagna fragrante, con una foresta di magiche piante di mirabolano 
che neutralizzano i veleni esterni, interni e segreti. A centro sorge la città di Sud Sana, anche detta Tanadak, l'adorabile da sostenere, al cui cuore vi è la dimora celestiale del Buddha della medicina, un palazzo che ha 16.000 pilastri costruiti con i cinque materiali eccellenti, oro, argento, pelle bianche, pelle rosse e lapistrazzoli, che emanano luci di guarigione dei cinque colori. Tu, Guru Buddha Shakyamuni, dimori al centro del palazzo e sei circondato dai sette Buddha della medicina, attorniati da un seguito di Buddha guaritori, Bodhisattva, Arat, Daka, Dakini, Rishi e protettori del Dharma. Faccio richiesta a te, che allo scopo di beneficiare l'umanità e trasmettere l'arte della guarigione, dai tuoi cinque chakra principali emani i cinque guaritori supremi, che insegnano i quattro tantra medici, Gyushi. Faccio richiesta a te, che hai rivelato le istruzioni dei Gyushi nella forma di un dialogo tra Rikpe Yeshe, il saggio nato dal cuore, manifestazione del guaritore supremo, Akshobhya. E lì Irekie, il conoscitore trascendente, che dimora la tua gola ed è manifestazione del guaritore supremo, Amitabha. Dal tuo cuore, Buddha Shakyamuni, il guaritore supremo Akshobhya, Rikpe Yeshe, rivelò il tantra radice, Otsagyo. Dal tuo chakra del capo, il guaritore supremo, vero Chana Rikpe Yeshe, rivelò il tantra dell'esposizione, Oshegyu. Dal tuo chakra dell'ombelico, il guaritore supremo Ratna Sambhava, Rikpe Yeshe, rivelò il tantra della trasmissione orale, Omenangyu. Dal tuo chakra segreto, il guaritore supremo Amogasiddhi, Rikpe Yeshe, rivelò l'ultimo tantra, Ocimeduzzi. Um, Jared, no? So, this bit here is like in our Gompa, the temple of heaven, our five main buddhas are talking to each other, no? Why they're talking or how can we help people? So that's why, so they're explaining about, you know, the different phases of taking care of the elements, the humors, and how to take care of, you know, it's like the Buddhas talking amongst themselves, yeah, okay? So that's what this means, yeah? The Buddhas, they like to share something useful, so they explain yes. medicine, yeah? Okay. Okay? Daphne uh, Stachar no? No? Okay? Yes. No? Daphne Traseletti in Okay, okay. Puoi continuare, no? Dai cinque guaritori supremi ai tuoi cinque chakra si manifestarono i sette Buddha della medicina per trasmettere all'umanità l'energia di guarigione. All'epoca, Guru Buddha Shakyamuni, facesti promessa che l'accrescimento del potere delle forze del male sarebbe corrisposto all'aumento del potere dei sette Buddha della medicina. Allora promettesti di proteggere gli esseri sfortunati che vivono in questi ultimi 500 anni dell'era degenerata di Kaliuga. Ok, sorry, posso another thing. Whether we're the last 500 years depends on us, yeah? <laughs> Actually, it said Buddhist teaching would last 5000 years, but recently humanity has not been behaving very well. However, everything depends on cause and condition. So we can still transform the situation. Ok? Yeah, so maybe we're not the last 500 years, you know? Let's be positive, yeah? Okay. Ti chiedo aiuto adesso. A causa del sorgere interdipendente delle azioni collettive negative di corpo, parola e mente, una grande onda di inquinamento e degenerazione devasta il mondo. Le emozioni dannose inquinano i rapporti tra le persone, anche tra parenti e amici intimi e persino la relazione con il Guru. Ci dirigiamo verso una distruzione planetaria, praticando un lento e a volte piacevole suicidio, in molte maniere differenti. È giunto il momento che porti a compimento il tuo progetto di guarigione planetaria. Ti prego, guaritore supremo, Buddha Shakyamuni, tu che manifesti sette Buddha della medicina, benedicimi per trasformare le mie energie personali e quelle planetarie per mezzo del sorgere interdipendente e positivo, e prendersi cura di se stessi e degli altri, dell'ambiente e del pianeta. Ok, so, 
Lama Ganesham Rinpoche made this in the early 90s, okay? At the time, I was his assistant writing this down, okay? And at the time, we never hear exactly one Buddhist prayer like this, you know, about the planet and pl all this. And now it's totally like, this is the issue, isn't it? Rinpoche had the foresight, you know? It says he was doing for, according to the mental capacity of beings to help us all, you know? So it, I find this very, I don't know, very powerful, you know, because 30 years ago, we were, okay, something we knew, of course, but now it's like we're sat here sweating, you know, with the climate change and there's no water. This is what it's saying, yeah? So we made this 30 years ago, you know? Ready for now, yeah? Prepare. Aiutami a guarire me stesso e gli altri. Aiutami a impegnarmi nella sfida della grande trasformazione globale proprio adesso. Visualizzazione. Ok, so this Tubuang Ten drama, actually, around Albaniano and all our centers around the world, we have many here. I counted we have over 100 of these Tubuang Ten drama Buddhas, yeah? Tendral, Tubuang means Shakyamuni Buddha. Ten, uh, tendral means the one who understands and share the knowledge of how things are connected, like into, how things are into, uh, like, 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 like nature, no? Everything's a process, everything's connected, yeah? And if we understand that, we can enact change for the better, yeah? So we have, if you've got, you can count if you like around Albaniano, also they all have little different face, you know? They're nice, yeah? So anyway, we have 101 of these Tubang Tendrama Buddhas here, yeah? And above his head is the seven medicine Buddhas, like yesterday when we did the initiation following the system of Chankya Rolpe Dojo. So this is the visualization of the seven medicine Buddhas, okay? And he's healing the world, yeah, with the, with the... Sulla corona del capo di Buddha Shakyamuni Tua Tendrelma è seduto Chondende Sanghemella. Okay, this, okay, this we go a little faster. This is exactly like in the initiation, okay? Rinpoche put all the information in the sadhana, but then our sadhana in this, this meditation and recitation, but then we can make more qu quickly, yeah? Okay, so above the head of Shakyamuni is the medicine Buddha, the blue one here, yeah? okay? Then above the head of the medicine Buddha is the king of clear knowing, red color and so on, yeah? All the details are explained because in the past, you know, people didn't have so many images, yeah? So they need to, this for the visualization, now we're full of images, so it's easy for us, you know? Yeah, even we have beautiful colored picture, yeah? Okay, and okay, then above the head of um, uh, king, king of clear knowing is uh, the Buddha, Ocean of Melodious Dharma, yeah? Who proclaims the Melodious Dharma, yeah? Can you go up, please, yeah? Okay. Jerry, yeah? Okay, he's the white one, so there's a red, a white, and a pink one, and three gold ones. Actually, it's quite easy, actually. Blue Medicine Buddha, the main one, yeah? Then red, white, and pink, yeah? Three gold ones, so it's actually nice, beautiful visualization, yeah? Okay. And each one of these, actually, they have a connection with the five Dhyani Buddhas. They're showing the gestures, you know, like one's like Amoga Siddhi, one's like Barochana, one is like Amitabha, and so on and so on, yeah? Okay, then above the head of, um, where did we get to? Ocean of M Melodious Dharma proclaimed, there is the um, Gloria, supreme glory free from suffering, yeah? Whose pink color, yeah? So, Rinpoche said at first the names are a little difficult for us, even in Italian or our own language, but they're the names of somebody, you know? So if, you, if somebody promised to help you, at least you need to know who they are, you know, in order to call them, you know? So bit by bit we learn who they are, you know, call me, yes. I promise to help, you know? Yeah? Okay, so. Then above his head is, uh, above the head of supreme glory free from suffering is uh, Tathagata, uh, e excellent gold, yeah? Okay? Then above, the, there are now three gold ones, yeah? Then above is uh, Tathagata, king of melodious sound, yeah? And finally, um, supreme, uh, glorious fame of excellent signs, yeah? Actually, the original names are Sanskrit, actually, so they've gone from Sanskrit to Tibetan to Italian to English and so on. But anyway, Buddha, by the way, can speak a minimum 60 languages, yeah? So no problem. In the modern times, they also learnt English, Italian, and all the other languages. So however you call them, it's okay, yeah? yeah? And Rinpoche used to say many times, if you'd like to call me, let's please, call, no need to call by phone, call mind to mind, yeah? So this is how we do with the holy beings, yeah? Okay? So we call all these Buddhas, okay, with the name, but mind to mind, yeah? Okay? 
So they're all like, I should look like Shakyamuni Buddha, okay, with a little different gesture and so on, yeah, okay, like dressed in the three robes of a monk, which shows a, a himsa, non violence, a nejung, which means I definitely want to change my life, you know, I definitely want to emerge from my personal samsara. And they have the, like Buddha, no, with the ears and everything, the, yeah, the long eyes. And all. this is called the 32 major marks of a Buddha. And then there's like 18 minus signs, like shiny nails, very white. Anyway, there's many, many of these signs, subtle signs of enlightenment, yeah. So they all, they all sh manifest that, yeah, okay. And they're all sitting. Vajra posture means what we call the lotus position in the West, yeah. Yeah, because we took the name from the Hindu Hatha tradition, yeah. We call it Padma Asana in yoga, no? I mean, you sit with your feet like that, yeah? Both feet like this, yeah? Okay? It's a very stable position for meditation. Please don't try unless you do yoga because you can hurt your knees, yeah? Don't, for, no, really, yeah? Because people think, oh, I like to try, then afterwards they're like, no, it's not, it's, we need to, if you like, of course, but you need to do yoga, okay? Um, okay. So they're all sitting on a lotus, and a moon cushion, yeah, okay? The lotus symbolizes we need to definitely emerge from the swamp of our deluded emotions of unknowing, and the full moon symbolizes the mind of enlightenment, bodhicitta, yeah? So, Ramagantra Rimsha used to say, you Western people, you've been to the moon. <laughs> you spent billions of euros and dollars and whatever on this project, all you brought back was rocks, we so used to say, I go to the moon every day yeah, in my meditation, and there we find, I find the essence of peace, the essence of compassion, the essence of wisdom. So better fly to the moon with a Tibetan Lama, he used to say. Yeah, yeah you say like that. Yeah, okay. okay. Okay, then seven limbs. Actually, seven limbs we already did. Lama Michel Rinpoche is explaining the preliminaries of these days very beautifully. Okay. Okay. So, anyway, so already explained this morning by Lama Michel. Frustration, that means I want to be like you. Okay, so please, Jerry, read this bit, please. Yeah? Okay. Frustration? Yeah. Frustrazioni. Mi prostro a voi che con il semplice tocco della pianta di Mirabolano domate i fuochi degli inferni più profondi, trasformandoli in acque di fiori di loto. Mi prostro a voi, assemblea di protettori, per gli esseri degenerati del Caluga, con il corpo, la parola e la mente. Mi prostro a te, Buddha della medicina, radiante lapislazzoli, tu che tieni il magico mirabolano con la mano destra e la ciotola colma dell'insumerabile nettere medicinale nella sinistra. Mi prostro all'assemblea dei sette beati Buddha della medicina, i sette guaritori supremi, capaci di curare 404 tipi di malattie derivanti dagli squilibri degli umori, vento, bile e flemma. Voi che eliminate gli spiriti dannosi, this, color... This, this means uh, psychological problems, by the way, yeah? Okay? Yeah. We're not talking about exorcist film, we're talking about our deluded emotions, yeah? Okay? Voi che eliminate gli spiriti dannosi, coloro che producono ostacoli, Voi che curate le malattie di corpo e mente a livelli grossolano, sottile ed estremamente sottile, vi prego, aiutatemi affinché completi i sentieri Mahayana e Vajrayana della tua guarigione tantrica Nasso. Offerte. Ok, so these offerings that you can see here, oh, can you see here today in our temple? Usually we have lots of seven yeah, offerings. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Oh, yes, let's be there. We have many, yeah? Okay. So, in, in every Buddhist uh, puja, yeah? Puja actually means to make offerings in Sanskrit, yeah? So, we offer, like, the most beautiful things we have around us. So, okay, for example, first, beautiful water. Now all, and now, all of a sudden, water is becoming super important to us. Before, it used to mean nothing. Now, we understand it's super important, the basis of life, yeah? Okay? So, we offer water, yeah? Okay? And here is nice because each offering it explains like some kind of positive side effect of each offering, yeah? So it says here, for example, if we offer like very nice pure water, yeah? Um, may the sicknesses of the upper part of the body be removed, yeah? So one of the things in the medicine Buddha practice is this offering of eight types of water. So this means there's seven degrees of like life energy in water. So there's, the top actually is rainwater. Second is the um, water that comes from melting glaciers, yeah? 
all the way down to the water that runs in forests that's kind of stagnant, yeah, okay? So what it means is we need to take care of the water, yeah, okay? Now, I think we got this point, yeah, recently, yeah? We re like here, for example, in our centre, we're doing, we're making huge water, because we're lucky that we have a natural water source here, very, very lucky, no? So we're making huge water tanks to st store this precious water, so we're like off-grid for water, actually, you know? So it's very, uh, you know, so we all need to think how to do this in the future, you know? It's becoming a major issue, isn't it? Anyway, so we offer beautiful water, yeah? Another, actually, another positive side effect of um, offering water is you'll become very beautiful, actually, yeah? In the um, Mahakama Vibhanga Sutra, which is on Burabadur, on the carved on the side, it says that one of the side effects of offering water is you don't have any wrinkles, yeah? Because you're well hydrated, yeah? <laughs> so anyway, so there's many, of course, you know, there's many positive benefits. It's giving life to the others, yeah? Okay? So if we give a good health and life and well-being to the others, of course, let the, let's say everything you do comes back to you, so you also get health and well-being, yeah? Okay, that's the first one. Okay, okay, so, okay, this is to offer, yeah? So in your mind, you imagine the most beautiful, in front is the Guru Buddha, yeah? Uh, Menla, that means medicine Buddha, together with our Guru, the seven medicine Buddhas, and all the other deities of healing, okay? So when we offer, yeah? It means we, we, okay, we imagine, okay, we put something like a bowl of water or something, but we imagine the most beautiful mountain streams and the glacial water and the rainwater and all the beautiful waters of the world. And we off, when we offer, we go like this. We click with this finger, yeah? Okay, then we go like this. This is like opening a flower, okay? That one goes like that, that one goes like that, yeah? We go like that, yeah? And then we make the offerings, yeah? Okay? So the first one, like this, uh, again, it's like your, it's, if, if you imagine if I'm in a water fountain, no, I'm holding, like, you know, there's water in my hands, yeah? So I'm offering water, but not a little bit. I'm offering oceans, not, ocean, I mean, lakes and lakes of pure water. Ocean you can't offer, no, because it's salty, yeah? But pure water you're offering, yeah? Okay? So argyam, and then at the end you go like this. So you start with the right hand, click, yeah? Yeah, lotus, turning, make the offering, argyam. Click, yeah? Left over right. It's always the same, okay? There's four type of tantra, yeah? This is called um, Kriya, action tantra, yeah? So each set of tantra practices, they have their own, what we call mudras, their own gestures, their own way of doing things. Anyway, each is a little different, no? So they have a different set of mudras from how we do in the Guru Puja, okay? Okay, so first one is Agyam, okay? Agyam means water for drinking, yeah? Very important for health and well-being, yeah? The next one, we offer... Um, this is actually tra just translated from what the, what the monks like. They're going da 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 No, it's translated from Tibetan, no? Okay, next we offer uh, water, which possesses the eight qualities, which means these types of water, no? Like rainwater, glacial water, spring water, different types of water, down to forest water. And we use the, we, for these, we do like this, and we're, like, we're going like this. So it's like, okay, I'm not going to pour this, but it's like pouring, you know, with a jug, yeah? So we're washing the feet of the, of, it says washing the feet of the seven sugatas. The... The Buddhas, from their own side, they don't need the offering, okay? But we're doing it to create a connection, yeah? It's like when we invite our mother to our house, no? We make everything super nice, we clean the house, we, we do everything, we put flowers, we try and do everything nice the best we can, no? Isn't it, yeah? So we're, we're inviting the Buddhas to come. So we do like at least the same as we do for our mother, if not better, okay? Yeah? Hopefully a bit better, yeah? Okay, even though we we'll all love our mothers, yeah? Okay? Okay, so Pajyam, this is healing the sickness of the lower part of the body, yeah? Om Guru Buddha Bekanze Pajyam Versandana Pajyam Pratitsa Hum Soha. Next one is flowers which decorate the crowns of the seven supreme healers, yeah? So, uh, so offering the flowers, yeah? Uh, let's have a look. Flower, yeah. Oh, it says, okay, uh, it's healing the limbs of, of the body, yeah? okay? Also, oh, this one's doing a lot, actually. It also, it's stopping aging, so please, this is good, yeah? Stopping aging and physical, like, as we get older, no? Like, sometimes we get, like, problems with our, I don't know, like, our colon, our back, you know? 
things get not in the right shape, yeah, let's say, as we get older, yeah? So help, as a result, may I experience the bliss? And, um, okay, anyway, so finally, may I achieve the Buddha's holy form in a pure land, yeah? Okay, so we do like this, yeah? Mom, by the way, the, we imagine rushing out of our heart, off, offering goddesses. We used to have, I don't know, over there but on the back of the temple, yeah? If you look behind where you're sitting, there's an offering goddesses, so there are gods and goddesses, so they're holding all these beautiful offerings. So you imagine these like divine beings, like sort of like waiters and waitresses, you know, carrying all these beautiful things, yeah, okay? And they're all, uh, they're all kind of in, in the midst of rainbow light, yeah? Okay, so this is Om Guru Buddha Bekase. Pupae's like this, actually. You go like this and you go like this in the uh, uh, Kriya Tantra, yeah? Normally, uh, we do like, uh, how do we do? Like this, no? How do we, yeah? I've forgotten now. In uh, Hayashi Yoga Tantra, Agyam Padyam. How do we do now? Pupae, I forgot. Yeah, like this, Pupae, so like this, no? Tantra, yeah? Yeah. Dupe Aloke. Yende New Day Chapter, okay? This is the highest yoga tantra, like in Guru Puja. But here we do uh, water for drinking, water for washing, flowers, yeah? Incense, incense is like this, it's like incense sticks, yeah? Stuck up, yeah? yeah? Like on the altar, no? You see the sticks, yeah? yeah. Um, so that's incense, uh, uh, then... Uh, this is lights, this is the flame, no? Gende. Gende is perfume, so we, we imagine like, you know, like, like in it, around here, no, in Italia, yeah? They have a lot of these like balsamo and things like that, yeah? They're mixed with like um, creams and things, yeah? So this, in ancient India, they didn't have air conditioning and things like that, yeah? Okay. So one of the ways they used to keep cool is by applying essential oils on the body. Well, maybe we need to go back to these kind of natural solutions, actually. Yeah? So one of the ways to keep cool in the summer is to put sandalwood and these kind of cooling things on your clothes. Yeah? Or, or if you're, let's say, going swimming on you, yeah, on your chest. Yeah? So this represents this. Yeah? So this brings a cooling sensation. So that's why that's gyende, yeah? Okay. New day is like that. So it's like holding some, like, something like this, not holding this. Holding a plate, yeah? And chapter is like this, no? Okay, this is symbolizing playing a bell, okay? So, um, uh, okay, let's go. Where were we? We were doing pupae, no? Flowers, yeah? Okay. Okay, so it says, okay, f if we offer flowers, yeah? Um, it helps the limbs, yeah? It helps our body to be in good shape. It stops aging, yeah? Okay. So many benefits, yeah. However, one thing that we like to do here in Albaniano, in our Nalso centers, actually, we like to offer flowers in the pot, yeah? Because somehow, okay, of course, it's nice to offer flowers. We offer millions and millions of flowers, but it's nice to offer flowers that afterwards we can plant, yeah? Because it's very important that we restore the environment, yeah? Okay? You can also offer flowers, by the way, mentally, yeah? and, you know, you don't have to cut them. You, so if you see you're in Milano or somewhere, you see beautiful flowers, you can offer them mentally, yeah? Okay. Okay, so that's flowers, yeah? Then, okay, next, Agyam Pajyam Pupa, Dupe, you know? In, uh, incense, no? Okay. Uh, okay, it says, okay, I offer this in beautiful celestial incense to, f to uh, so the seven supreme healers can, like, s smell this beautiful scent, yeah? And please help us remove the torments of body and mind. Uh, by virtue of these profound requests and these offerings, please, all the sicknesses of the nose, yeah? And also the spleen, yeah? May they be healed, yeah? And may I be able to use my body, speech, and mind in a, in a wise way every moment of the day and night, yeah? Help me to realize perfect concentration. So the, each of these is actually very profound, no, actually, these offerings, yeah? Okay. Yeah. So, for example, here's start in the um, Tibetan medical teachings. They explain the relationship between the senses and the organs. Yeah. So one way that they diagnose if there's something wrong with you is looking at your senses, no, your ears, your nose, your eyes, your lips, and so on. Yeah, because you can see in somebody's face. Yeah, what's going on in their organs. Yeah. Okay. 
Uh, so anyway, so uh, okay. How are we? Uh, okay. Oh, okay. Next. Okay. Next uh, lights. Yeah. Okay. So hang on. So Om Guru Buddha beckons the uh, do pay incense. Alo uh, praditsa hum so. Uh, next one. Om Guru Buddha beckons a beckons a is like. Healer or king of lapis lazuli, like, it means the medicine Buddha, no? Om Guru Buddha Bekanze Aloke Pratitsa Hum Soha. Okay, this is like a little butter flame, you know? Nowadays we don't have butter flames in temples, by the way. We have like <laughs> electric lights, yeah? So you can imagine, offer like the sun, the moon, the stars, all beautiful lights you can imagine, yeah? And it says, wait, 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 stop, stop, stop. It says, by offering these lights, may my eyes and my liver, yeah, be healed. So, you know, it's people, yeah, okay, if they get liver problem, this is true, you can start to see in their eyes, yeah, okay. So the eyes are the, we call them the flower of the organs, yeah, okay. So this is also a, a useful technique of self-healing. So, I mean, of course, we should go to the doctor, we should get a checkup, yeah? However, if you start to think, oh, I can't hear, my hearing's not so good, or actually I'm getting eye problem, or I can't smell, or something, it means something's going on inside of you, you know, yeah? So then we need to check up and look at our diet, our behavior, maybe we need to go to a doctor, yeah? So it's kind of like a warning sign, actually, you know? Yeah? So we shouldn't neglect these kind of things, yeah? Okay? Yeah, so anyways, by offering lights, may the, our eyes and our liver be he healed, and also may our inner darkness be removed, yeah? So many times in the Dharma we offer butter lamp. For example, many times we went together with Lama Gantian Rinpoche in Indonesia to the Borobudur Stupa Mandala, and we, each time we offered 100,000 lights, and each time we, we, sat, we said that prayer, you know, on our home, through this offering, may the darkness of ignorance of all beings be removed, yeah, okay? So when we, so nowadays we don't have like butter lamps because obviously we don't want to burn down our temple, yeah? Also here we're in a forest area, so it's not, not possible, no? But when we switch on the light, yeah, okay? Then we should think like this, yeah? May the uh, unknowing ignorance of all beings be removed, yeah? Including myself, yeah? Okay, so help me to experience the light of wisdom, of omniscient wisdom, yeah? And that, and help, that will help me to realize the mind, the truth body of a, a Buddha, yeah? Okay, so very profound actually, yeah? Okay, then next uh, I offer beautiful perfumes, yeah? Um, to the heart, to the heart, heart, okay, this is why they're doing this mudra, because in ancient India you put like essential oils here, yeah? In your, around your chest to cool yourself down, okay? Um, in ancient India, perfume making was actually linked with medicine, yeah? That probably still is, actually, yeah? In the Gandavyuha Sutra, which is illustrated on Borobudur, yeah? One of the gurus of Suda, uh, Bodhisattva Sudana, who's, you know, the everyman going to enlightenment, one of his gurus is a perfumer, yeah? Okay? Yeah, so the perfumer, actually what he teaches him is Tibet, is Ayurveda, yeah, okay, because all the ingredients that are used in perfume, we call perfume these days, yeah, are spices, yeah, and they're based on the taste and the smell, which is the element. So the perfumer teaches the Bodhisattva Sudana how to take care of the health of the um, five elements and the three humors, yeah, based on smell and taste, yeah, okay. So why not, yes? Life doesn't have to always be horrible, yeah. Why not, you know, if you can use beautiful smells to feel better? How nice, yeah? Okay? I mean, we like, no, but we don't really have the... Well, some people do, no, but many of us, we just like, and we don't know why, you know, that we like those scents and things. So it's interesting to know... A, 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 no, there's a, I think this kind of wisdom's coming back in, in Europe, actually, you know? There's many people interested in... What do you call it? Herbology? And, you know, anyway, this kind, this kind of study of plants, yeah, and their qualities, yeah. Um, okay, anyway, I offer um, perfume to, in, so to the heart chakra of the seven supreme healer Buddhas um, by offering this and making in, in re, intense requests. Please, okay, heal me of the sicknesses related to the sogs in wind, okay which stays in the heart chakra, yeah? So in 
in the Buddhist medicine and in the tantric systems, we explain that we have five pranas, five vital energies, okay? The most important of which is called the sogzin. Sog means life and zin means holding, the life holding wind or energy or prana, okay, yeah? So this is here, not here in the heart, but here in the heart chakra in the middle of our body, yeah? So as long as that energy is functioning, yeah, we will live, yeah? And when it becomes weak, then we die very easily of like one cold or something, you know, like old people, no? Many times in the winter they go in the, through influenza or something because their life is not so strong, no? Then they go, you know, die easily, no? Yeah? So what we want is this uh, life-sustaining wind to be very strong, yeah? But many times uh, people, they get what we call a lung disorder. Lung means the disorder of the prana, of the life energy, okay, yeah? So if you get a disturbance of the life wind, well, you become very agitated, yeah, okay? You cannot concentrate, you become very emotional, yeah? Hysterically, you know. Anyway, all your emotions come out, basically, yeah, okay? So if, if you have a disturbance of your life wind, yeah, then first thing you need to do actually is relax, yeah? Don't push anymore because this comes out because we push too much. We stress, already our life's very stressful. And then maybe we, I don't know, we try and do meditation or something, yeah? And then it's too much, you know? So if, if we get this disturbance of the life wind, we need to just completely relax, like today, for example. Go to, well, generally we say, please come to the gompa, but if you've got wind disturbance, then please go to the lake, yeah? And have ice cream and, you know, just take it easy, yeah? Okay, yeah? Anyway, so it says here also, so also, also this kind of, it's kind of like massage, isn't it? So actually in, like in this book, yeah? This, okay, now we publish, oops, excuse me, we, can somebody pick that up, yeah? Um, we published the second edition of Lama Ganesha Rinpoche book in Italiano just now, which is super nice, yeah? So inside this book, and we don't have time to go through the whole thing, but anyway, you can read it yourself. But there's a whole section about medicinal oils and mass massage, yeah, okay? So it explains many, many kinds of oils that you can make at home, which is super good now. Yeah, everybody's worried about the cost of living, yeah? But you can just open up your kitchen and you can use, I don't know, olive oil, sesame oil. You can use the things in your cupboard, you know, like black pepper, uh, cardamom, all the spices, you know. And you can make massage oils, which you can then apply to yourself, your friends, your family, yeah? even your pet if you want, yeah, okay? So this is a very, very nice practical form of, of you know, self-healing, yeah, okay? So actually, it's all re everything you need to know is inside here, you know, like how to do it, yeah? So, okay, so if you in Tibet, actually, of course, they didn't have olive oil and things like that, but they had butter, yeah? So everything in Tibet was with butter, yeah? And they have, like, uh, dri butter. A dri is a, a female yak, and then they have cow butter and so on, different butters, obviously. In Europe, it's not really so popular, yeah? Okay, we, have, we prefer the other kinds of oils, but it's fine, you know, each one has. Anyway, please, if you're interested, read the book and try, no, yeah? If you have, like, anxiety, stress, yeah? One thing very nice to do, maybe not now because it's too hot, but you can heat oil, not too hot, but warm, yeah, okay? Let's say, I don't know, like olive oil or something, yeah? And you put warm, not boiling hot, warm, and then you get like some cotton wool, you know, like the ones you, t you do your face with or something, yeah? Yeah? And then you just dip it in and you put here, yeah? On top of your head, you put behind your neck, on your hands and on your feet, yeah? Also, if you can't sleep, yeah? Okay? The only problem with this is, you know, the sheets, okay? <laughs> so maybe you need to, when you finish, you need to let it absorb, yeah? Okay? And then maybe before you go to sleep in your bed, you maybe you... You go like this with a paper towel, and otherwise your sheets will be all cut full of olive oil. But anyway, it's helping, you know. Yeah? So they have all these kind of very practical self-healing, okay? Things that everybody can do, you know. It doesn't cost hardly anything, yeah. So Rinpoche wanted very much that these parts of the Tibetan medical system that's easy, no danger, everybody can do, costs not more than five euros, why not do, you know? So that's why we took out these parts from the uh, Tibetan medical teachings and put in this book, yeah? Because Lord Buddha Shakyamuni wanted everybody to find ease and find comfort, yeah? 
whether it means getting out of samsara or on the way, yeah, any way to have physical and mental ease, no? So there's many, many different ways that we need to think about that, yeah, including medicine and healing, yeah, which is why here in Albaniano we emphasize a lot healing and therapy and we have many different therapists and healing coming here because it's something, you know, we think is important, yeah? Okay? Anyway, so this is a big subject, actually. So, anyway, so if you have life, life wind disturbance, take it easy. But anyway, in, if you're not sure if you've got one or not, if you read this book, yeah, it explains, like, there's three humours, wind, bile, and phlegm, yeah, okay? Vata, kapha, and pitta, yeah, in Sanskrit, or lung, beckon, and tripa in Tibetan, yeah? And it explains... How do we know if we have an imbalance of these energies or not? So it explains the symptoms, yeah, okay? So people who have lung disturbance, like they get nervous, they get their emotions come out, they can't sleep, you know, they become obsessive, you know. I don't know, like, they're doing, like, shopping, 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 or everything is, like, obsessive, you know, yeah, okay? So anyway, so if you want to know if you've got a wind disturbance or a bowel disturbance or if you're okay, it's in the book, yeah? Also, there's a quiz, yeah? So you can, um, there's a biotype quiz. So it says, for example, do you find it easy to get up in the morning? Do you have difficulties to sleep? Yeah. When you stick your tongue out, what color is it? You know, many, many other things. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So if you fill, fill in the quiz, it's inside the book. If you maybe photocopy it, yeah, because then you can do with all your friend and family. And then you can think, okay, me, uh, you, from that you can make your own self-diagnosis. Yeah. Okay. And it's actually a very accurate test, yeah? Oh, then, then we know what humour we are, and then, okay, which diet I should eat, yeah? And what things I shouldn't eat, yeah? And what kind of therapies are good for me, you know? So it's an incredibly practical system, yeah? So it's not, okay, it's not just praying. It, okay, it is praying and meditation and mantras, but there's also a lot of practical advice together. So it's a very, very beautiful healing system, okay? So anyway, so... Om Guru Buddha Bekaze Gyan De Pratitsa Hum Soha. Okay, next we offer food, yeah, as nectar, yeah, to delight the taste of the, the taste sense of the seven supreme healer Buddhas, yeah. So may this uh, help us remove the sicknesses of the tongue, the taste, and the stomach, yeah. Okay, also well, may we become free from misery, yeah. May we uh, ex ex may we enjoy delicious food, yeah, the food of concentration, yeah, and may we enjoy the uh, the bliss of enlightenment, yeah, of awakening, yeah, okay. So wait, 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 wait please, J Jerry, one second, yeah, okay. So okay, so okay, so your tongue is the flower of your stomach, yeah. So if you start to get your tongue is not looking so nice, actually you can make many different diagnoses from this. Actually, like in the morning, what you you know, we have to clean our teeth now and go, mm, yeah, and look at your tongue in the mirror, yeah, okay? If your tongue is super red, that means you have a vata, wind disturbance, okay, yeah? If your tongue is like white, shiny, it means you have too much phlegm in your body, yeah? And if your tongue is kind of yellowish, it means you have too much bile in your, in your body, yeah? I mean, it's, it's not so difficult. It's, this is all true, by the way. And Buddha said, don't believe me. Have a look, yeah? So please feel free in the morning. Look at your tongue, yeah? Okay? And also, if you look at, like, over the time, no? It, as you, I don't know if you feel a little sick, it changes, yeah? Okay? Or if you're in a very hot place, cold place. So it's interesting, these things, okay? Yeah? So we can check, oh, how's my health, yeah? Oh, yeah, it's all white, okay, that means too much cold nature, so that means I need more warming things, yeah? Or if it's like super red, that means, oh, I'm anxious, actually. I need to calm down, take it easy, you know? I need to look in the book, what do I need to eat and not eat, and, you know, what, or I need to stay with... If you have a uh, wind disturbance, you need to stay with nice friends, yeah? In a beautiful place. Also, you need to stay in a place like this with not too much light, yeah? If you have a lot of light, it's disturbing the wind, yeah, okay? So anyway, there's a whole, so stay with people that love you, with close friends, stay out of the bright sunlight, you know, and so on and so on. There's a whole series of advice, you know, which is all in the book, yeah? Okay, which is marvellous, yeah? And okay, so anyway, so 
offering food, yeah, is he is healing the what everything you do comes back to you. I mean, not in five minutes, but you know, generally, yeah, after some time, yeah, okay. So if we're offering health and good food to the others, also the side effect is we become healthier, which of course makes sense if we think in a normal way. If we become interested in such things, now, yeah, okay. So, okay, so, and it says, may we attain the food of of, realize, of of concentration. So, at a certain point of spiritual development, then people don't need to eat so much. Unfortunately, that's not my case. I don't have that <laughs> realization, but it can happen, yeah? Like, for example, when pe people are in retreat, yeah? They find that they want to eat less, yeah? When they're meditating a lot, yeah? Okay. Because it's like somehow your energy gets your elements, they get more subtle, yeah? Then you just don't feel hungry. Because normally we're like super, well, speak for myself, super hungry, yeah? Because we need the energy all the time, you know, of the elements, yeah? But when we meditate, it, you know, I, I have seen, I've seen this with several people, actually, several friends, yeah? They don't feel like eating when they meditate, yeah? You know, and gra so gradually, so then it's easy, no? Their body adjusts to being more light, actually, yeah? So people who develop... Now we don't have any concentration, especially with the modern technology, like very weak concentration, yeah? But as we learn to concentrate, yeah? Then it's like the concentration is so delicious that it's kind of like refreshing our energy because normally we take energy by eating and breathing. No, don't we, yeah? Yeah, and... Also, we have to breathe, of course, yeah, and drink water, but this we don't think about, yeah? So we need a lot, a lot all the time. But when we learn to concentrate, we can re renovate, we can recover our energy more easily, yeah? Okay? So we have very many beautiful... Actually, like, for example, Lama Ganesha Rinpoche always show us this thing called the stupa meditation, yeah? You know, the inner stupa. Earth dissolves into water, water into fire, fire into wind, wind into space, om, ah, hum clear light, yeah, okay? This is training in going to sleep in a conscious way, yeah? And then then what we have to do is come back, like wake up again in a conscious way. So then it's O, Hum, A, Om, space, wind, uh, fire, water, and earth. So it's like waking up. So when we go to sleep at night, no? Usually, yeah, at least, we feel better, don't we, yeah? Okay, some nights maybe we don't sleep well, but Generally, we feel better, don't we? Because our energy is recovered, yeah? So as we learn to meditate and to concentrate, yeah? We, our energy becomes refreshed through the meditation, yeah? So also, many people who meditate a lot, they, they gradually need less sleep, yeah? So it's interesting, no? Yeah? Gradually, they, I mean, of course, we all have to eat, you know? But less, and also their taste changes, you know? They don't want just want to eat, I don't know, worstle and... Uh, mustard and all that kind of stuff anymore, yeah? They have a more refined taste, yeah? It's interesting, yeah? Anyway, so anyway, we offer food, yeah? Okay, so not only, by the way, not only should we, should we offer food to the Buddhas, we should offer food to all beings. So one good way to offer food to all beings is not to waste any food. So this is becoming a huge issue because there's too many of us on this planet, yeah? In November, there will be 8 billion human beings, yeah? So now the resources are the... Are the you know, the limits, no? Not only because we're eating, so many of us eating and drinking, but because of climate change. So we really need to think, please, let's not waste anything, you know? Because if I waste, like they say an average family, 30% of the food just goes in the garbage, right? So if we then if we don't throw in the garbage, it means somebody else could have had it, yeah? They could have had it instead. So all these things is like, you know, need to consider how to do, no? Yeah? Spiritual path is not just, oh, Lord Buddha, help me, you know. It, there's two fields of merit. One is the gurus and all the Buddhas and all the holy beings. And the other field of merit is everybody else. So it means as much as possible, we need to care and help, care for and help other people and the environment, yeah. So all these things like how to, you know, how to improve the environment, how to conserve resources, how to make society a better place, yeah. This is actually part of our spiritual practice. So we shouldn't think it's like, oh, I'm just meditating and it's enough because nowadays it's not enough, you know. The Bodhisattva path is both out of meditation and in meditation, yeah. Okay? 
Okay, so anyway, so there's a lot to say about food in uh, Tibetan medicine. In fact, in our book, there's a huge section actually. Yeah, okay. So it explains what to eat and what not to eat according to your biotype. Very interesting. It's in there. Yeah, okay. And then next, it, okay, so please, if you, why we made the book is so we don't have to explain it all to, to you. You just buy the book and read it. Yeah, okay. Then if there's any, please, these days, you, maybe you get the book and if there's any questions, feel free to ask. Yeah. Um, then it says we offer the sound of beautiful celestial music to, 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 for, the, to, for the seven medicine Buddhas to enjoy. Yeah? So it's, uh, okay, so may we heal the sicknesses of the ears and the kidneys, yeah? Okay, so the ears are the fl called the flowers of the kidney. So if somebody is all of a sudden, they can't hear very well, they have ear infection, this means that generally it means there's something wrong with their kidneys, okay? So maybe you need to go to a doctor and check that out. You just shouldn't just... In the West, you know, okay, there's many incredible doctors and therapists, but still this kind of holistic vision is a little bit... I don't know exactly. I think it's a little missing, no? Because if you have ear problem, I believe you have to go to the ear, nose and throat doctor, not to the kidney doctor, yeah? In the general medicine, in our tradition, no? So anyway, so what... Lama Ganshan and the other great masters, they said we need an integrative approach, you know. Okay, of course, Western medicine is many beautiful, incredible things, yeah, we're very grateful, but also the Asian approach has many interesting things that we shouldn't miss, yeah. So, you know, like, so also aging, by the way, you know, like, unfortunately, most of us are starting to get there, yeah, okay, maybe a few young people here, but the signs of aging, no, like, oh, like, where is it? Where is it? <laughs> I can't even find it. Where's the glasses? <laughs> this, yeah? Okay, this is degeneration. I can't even see where it is. No? Example, yeah? So this is degeneration of the earth element, yeah? Okay, eyes also, liver, earth, yeah? Is it, the aging means your elements are, de are weakening, yeah? Okay. Okay, so actually according to this different systems, no? So in, according to this system, your eyes... It's because your liver is not so good. That means we need to take care of our diet and many other things, yeah? Sorry, can't hear. That means we need to take care of our kidneys. That means also we need to protect them from cold, you know? So <laughs> Rinpoche, yeah, Lama Ganshan, he always used to say we need to put... Okay, maybe not now, because now it's 33 degrees. But generally, when it's cold and windy, we need to wrap something like wool or pashmina around our... Protect our kidneys, yeah? Then if our kidneys are warm, our health is much better, yeah, okay? So if you start to... Many people, they lose their hearing, don't they, gradually? So this is, shows our kidney energy is degenerating, yeah, okay? And so on and so on. Also, n nowadays, you know, I, recently I was reading that... It, some They say that if you can't taste anything, it's a, it's a sign that you will die within, I don't know how many years, I don't know, like five years or something. Why? Because your elements are degenerating. Actually, it's true, actually, yeah, okay, yeah. So anyway, these things are interesting, yeah, so... Okay, aging, we actually... If we get old enough, of course, we will age, but how we will age, kind of a little bit... Dep well, it depends a lot on us, actually, okay. One, of course, there's the genetic factor that we were born with, yeah. But most of it is actually lifestyle, yeah, and emotion, yeah, okay. So we can age in a better way, you know, more happy, more joyfully, and have less discomfort as we get older if we practice these kind of... Oh, Self-healing is many, many, many different interesting therapies, yeah. But it's definitely possible, so why not, no? Yeah. Of course, we wish to become a Buddha, definitely. However, as we also, as we age, we want to be comfortable, yeah? Why not? It's not a contradiction, yeah? Okay, then it says, um, what does it say? Okay, so I offer music, yeah? Okay, because I want you yeah, to heal the ears and the kidneys, okay? So another thing that Lama Ganshan Rinpoche used to say, used to, say to, some, uh, to some of our friends here, that some, like one friend, she used to get ear infection all the time, yeah, and kind of go a little bit deaf. And she used to say he was receiving too much negative information, they didn't want to hear it anymore, yeah? So it means there's like an emotional component in our sickness, yeah? So when the, in the West, when we say something is psychosomatic, we, th we think, oh, it means it's not real, yeah? But in, we don't, in the Tibetan medicine, we think, okay, 
The emotions do have a part. It's not that it's not real. The emotions have a part to play in the underlying cause of sickness, and we need to take this into account, yeah? Okay? So, Lama Ganchen, he always used to say, looking with peace, yeah? Listening with peace. Speaking with peace. Touching with peace. He didn't, he didn't say smelling with peace, but anyway, you know, use the five senses with peace. Peace with everything, everything with peace, yeah? Okay? Okay? One, it's good for us, good for society. Also, it's a healing method, actually, yeah? Okay? Because when we use our senses with delusion and with aggression, with desire and so on, we're actually weakening the, our body, yeah? Our, the, we're just damaging our health by all the time, like looking badly at people and, you know, speaking badly. We don't realize, no, we have no idea. We don't know these subtle relationships, yeah? So anyway, so Rinpoche said, please... Peace with everything, everything with peace, okay? Very, it's actually a very, very important message, okay? So anyway, so these are the um, sense offerings, yeah? To the seven medicine Buddhas, yeah? So anybody can, if you're interested, it's some, actually it's nice, you know, you even you don't need these Tibetan bowls, you can go to, I don't know, Ikea or wherever you like, I'm not advertising, but you know what I mean? Get some little glass bowls, you know? And do it at home, you know, it's easy. It doesn't, it costs nothing to get the little bowls. Everybody, and you can just put water in the bowls, you know. Everybody, until now anyway, we had water. We hope this continues, yeah, okay. So it's also, it's actually, it's nice, you know, and the, this, like, you know, this Tibetan Buddhist custom is nice, yeah. Instead of just getting up and like, ah, like, oh, cafe brioche, I'm anxious, let me read the news, yeah, and then the other news, and then already I'm stressed, and, you know, now I feel bad already, and I've only been out of bed half hour. It's like, oh, no, hang on, I'll do the offering bowls, you know. And then it's kind of like a little meditation in action, yeah? So you have to put them straight and pay attention and, it's to, you know, and then on my home. It's nice. It's a meditative practice. It's a nice thing to do, yeah? So it's kind of like... When we do something, at the beginning, we should have a positive mind, yeah? So to set the day with peace is nice, yeah? This idea of also generosity, you know, I want to make the world a better place, a good environment, yeah? So it's nice to do that. And then in the evening, instead of like, oh, I'm super stressed, I'm just going to watch Netflix for like, okay, of course, we, we like Netflix as well, but anyway, then you can put down the offering bowls. It's nice, you know, it's kind of relaxing, actually, you know? Yeah? So, yeah. None of these things are like, actually, they became custom, but they're, they're actually nice things to do, you know? Yeah? Yeah? It's free, yeah? And it's nice, and it makes us feel better, yeah? So no, nobody should do these things because they feel they have to or they're obliged to, but try, maybe you like, yeah? Maybe you feel better, you know? Like now in the West, we like a lot this, like, I don't know, like Ch Japanese tea ceremony and all these kind of things. All this is to help us relax the mind and develop concentration and mindfulness, yeah? So the offering bowls is the same, yeah? But you don't need a fancy teapot or anything like that. So it's actually very accessible, yeah? And with your mind, you imagine all these beautiful things, yeah? Okay? Okay, so then it says, look at Appendix 2 for all the eight special qualities of water. This we do another time, but it's like, you know, it's talking, actually, it's like environmentalism, actually, you know, like rainwater is the best because there's more oxygen, actually, yeah? Okay? Then the water melted from the glaciers is the next super good one, yeah? And so on and so on. So it means we need to find uh, water with life energy, yeah? So that means, well, basically, we should stop polluting the water, yeah? So we should, like, w uh, when I'm not here, no, I, li I live in Spain, yeah? Where I live, uh, one day we woke up, and on all the, what do you call it, halo on the pavement, yeah? Somebody had painted, like, fishes and octopus all around, yeah? And said, please don't pour anything down here, because, it, because we're near the sea, no? It says it goes directly to damage the marine life, yeah? On every great on the pavement they put this and it's true no but with these things we need to remember because we don't think yeah so we need to be much much more careful you know you know about what we consume and where it goes you know afterwards yeah you know we really need a different i don't know we need to change many things no anyway so we'll see that later okay confession eh? so next we do this yeah what we're doing at the moment by the way is going in detail through this practice so that, because this practice is in the book yeah um, many of you, you know, you have the Jainang, you have the permission to do it, so now we're explaining how to do it, yeah? Then, as Lama Ganshin used to say, 
your health is in your own hands. Everything you need is already there. Plus, we're preparing a DVD of this, okay? Which will be out shortly, yeah? Okay. Okay, when it says confessione, okay, in Buddhism we don't believe in like culpa or guilt or anything like that or sin or peccato, yeah? Okay, we have a different philosophical view. We believe that everybody intrinsically is good actually because we have Buddha nature, but unfortunately we forgot or we didn't know. So out of unknowing, out of ignorance, we create actions that bring harm and suffering to ourselves and others, yeah? But everybody has a chance, yeah, even the most horrible, terrible person. They, one day they have a chance to improve, yeah. We never think this one is so terrible, there's no chance, yeah. Even the worst tyrant in history, okay. Because we, we see the purity in the human nature, the Buddha nature, okay. So that's a very, very important part, yeah. However, of co how, but of course, if we do, like for example, maybe 20, 30 years ago, we didn't realize, you know that we were damaging the environment, yeah? We bought all those things, we never thought about it, but now it's like, oh, everything, like, all this stuff I bought, and now I need to put in the, now in here we have many different garbage cans, no? Even, we have seven different types of garbage can, actually, okay, which is good. But then you think, okay, this white one, where is it going? They're going to bury my trainer, you know? My plastic pot, my uh, whatever, yeah? It's going to be buried, yeah? Maybe I shouldn't buy so many, but we never thought before. So it's, we need to think in many different ways, no? So it's not like, oh, I'm a sinner, no? But it's like, I didn't realize, so I need to change something, yeah? So it's a different point of view, yeah? Okay? Yeah? They, they usually give this example if you go in a, like a seafood restaurant, yeah? Okay? Yeah, oh, fruity di mari, mm -hmm. yeah, lovely. Then you eat the fruity di mari, then soon after you feel like, and then you think, oh, maybe I, I was a bad one and now I'm going to become sick, yeah? So they think, okay, so what you would do normally if you'd done that is, well, you'd probably stick your finger down your throat now, but you think, if not, I'm going to become super sick because anybody who's ever had... I had this one time, actually, in Milano, yeah? I travelled all around the world with Lama Ganjan and was never sick anywhere, but unfortunately, well, because of my karma, no doubt, in Milano one time I ate one prawn or something that was bad and oh, I was so sick for one week almost dying yeah so it once we had the experience and we, we would immediately you know want, want stick our finger down our throat and try and vomit yeah if we'd eaten a uh, gambery or something that's bad yeah okay yeah so first we need to recognize that we did something that's harmful okay yeah to ourselves and to the others. Then we need to do something about it, yeah, okay? It's not because, oh, I'm a terrible person, but it's just we need to do something, yeah, okay? So it's a different point of view, okay? Yeah? Yeah? Je Jerry, do you want to read it, please? I read the confession. Yes, please. Mm -hmm. okay. Anche se al momento il mio corpo e la mia mente appaiono forti e sani, mi assumo la responsabilità di futuri problemi e malattie. Di fronte a Guru Buddha Shakyamuni e ai sette Guru Buddha della medicina, con profondo pentimento confesso le azioni sansariche, derivanti dall'aver mangiato i veleni interiori, causati dal direzionare erroneamente, per scopi egoistici, le energie del corpo, della parola e della mente. Ho compiuto molte azioni dannose, commetto un lento suicidio fisico con l'uso di droghe, alcol, sigarette, con diete scorrette e con poco esercizio fisico. Posso interrompere? Uh, today I was reading from the United Nations, they were saying, we are, collecting, we are committing suicide on an environmental level collectively. And if we don't do something about it, we will die, yeah? That's what the United Nations were saying today. So this is not, it's not just, you know, Lama Ganshin sat in a corner. This is our reality, okay? Yeah? yeah? Commetto un suicidio emozionale nel seguire le cattive abitudini legate a emozioni violente come la rabbia. Partecipo alla conduzione di una società materialista che gradualmente priva la popolazione del pianeta di risorse indispensabili come l'acqua, il cibo, le medicine. Contribuisco con la mia condotta scorretta all'avvelenamento e alla morte di molti esseri viventi e all'arrecare danno alla loro mente. Ho compiuto molte azioni motivato dall'egoismo che causano molteplici problemi e malattie fisiche e mentali. Risvegliando la pura energia di cristallo del Buddha de la, dei Buddha della medicina, 
Realizzo la profonda guarigione dei chakra e sperimento la cura delle malattie fisiche e mentali generate da me stesso. Ora prometto davanti a voi che non sprecherò la mia energia in modo così autodistruttivo ed egoistico in futuro. Risvegliando l'energia cristallina del Buddha della medicina dentro di me, posso ricevere una guarigione profonda e duratura ed essere in grado di guarire le malattie che ho causato a me stesso e le sofferenze del mio corpo e della mia mente. So, we're not bad, but we didn't realize. Like, for example, yeah, facial cleanser, you know, when you go in the shower and you have cleaned your face. Even now we discovered this has got millions of plastic bits in it, yeah, that's damaging the water, yeah. We didn't know, no? Yeah, okay, so. Then, oh, you know, even that. Every, so everything now is really Kali Yuga, no? Even your facial cleanser, you maybe need to read, no? If it's, so, so many things, yeah, okay. We were brought up, oh, you know, all these beautiful things, why not enjoy? But we didn't realize the effect it was having, no? But, okay, now, okay, we reached the point where we can see all this is very harmful for the environment, and now, fortunately, we're all thinking I need to change, you know, I need to consume less, and at least if I need to consume stuff, it should be in the, you know, non-damaging way, in the eco environmentally friendly way, you know? So anyway, so there's many, many things to think about, yeah? So we're not bad, but we're waking up, you know. Buddha is the awakened one, yeah? Because it means we are, before we're asleep, yeah? We're asleep, we're in the sleep of unknowing, yeah? Okay? But then gradually we need to wake up, so, oh, and it, you know, and see things clearly, which is, fortunately, some of us are doing, you know, bit by bit, yeah? Okay? So, things are bad, but actually there's a lot of hope, actually. We can see, you know? Because people are changing very fast in the modern time. Why? Because we have to. But it's good that people are making a huge changes, you know? Okay? Then? Okay, this is complete. Seven limbs is what Lama Michelle was talking about in the mornings, no? The preliminary practices, okay? So, very, you know? Completamento dei sette rami. Gioisco delle azioni positive dei Buddha, Bodhisattva, guaritori ed esseri sacri, presenti in tutti i luoghi. Richiedo a voi, sette Buddha della medicina, e a tutte le vostre infinite emanazioni di rimanere, di guidarmi, di guarirmi e di girare la ruota del Dharma, rivelando i vostri metodi terapeutici. Investo l'energia spirituale di guarigione nella banca interiore della Bodhicitta. Come risultato, possa io diventare presto un lama guaritore Bodhisattva, che lavora per alleviare le sofferenze del Samsara fino a quando esso non avrà fine. Mm. One thing that Lama Ganchen used to say is that we feel very well, it's like we need spiritual company, okay? Because people, they feel very isolated, very alone, and that nobody is with them, supporting them, yeah? And that we can't trust society, the government, our friend, our family, or even ourselves. So this kind of thing, okay, it looks like praying, but actually we're asking for some spiritual support, yeah? Okay? I, and also, Okay, first the Buddha is outside of you, but gradually the qualities of a Buddha become inside of you as we, as we awaken, okay, yeah? So it's not just, oh, I'm praying to somebody. We're gradually waking up these inner qualities ourselves, yeah? Okay, it's like two sides, you know? It's very interesting, these kind of practices, yeah? Okay, anyway. So then mandala offering. So man mandala, kilko, means pure and positive from the center up to the edge, yeah? So, I don't know if we still have here, but um, we used to have this world, yeah? Okay, I don't know, maybe it's in the other Gompa where Rinpoche used to be. And one time, yeah, one of our community, one friend, yeah, he came to Rinpoche with a box, yeah? And he said, please heal my friend, yeah? And Rinpoche said yes, and then he opened the box and inside was the world, yeah? Okay. <laughs> and actually Rinpoche said, yes, it's true, we need to heal the world, yeah? So in this world, Rinpoche had this on his throne for years and years and years. Maybe it's in, we're in the dining room now, yeah, okay. Yeah, where Rinpoche, I don't know, maybe, yeah. Do you remember, you said that, the, or maybe it's that world, I don't know, maybe it's that world there, yeah. Maybe it's that one, you see on the, I think it's that one, yeah. Yeah, okay, so this, mandala, I mean, let's, Let's imagine the, okay, mandala offering, it means let's imagine that everybody in the world has a healthy and pure and positive environment, yeah, okay? The concept of heaven in many, many different religions is a pure world, yeah, where everybody's happy and there's a pure environment, yeah? 
Okay. If you look up like etymology, etymologically, what heaven, parad paradise means, it's like this beautiful garden where beautiful environment, yeah? So anyway, so the mandala offering is this. You can imagine like all the world, you know, like the different continents. Imagine they were all healed and pure and positive and the, all the elements and water were restored and the people were healthy and the, also the animals and plants recovered, yeah? So this is like offering a pure world, yeah, okay? So, okay, we do this gesture. I'm sure Lam and Michelle will talk about it in the morning, which represents the world and the continents. If not, you can imagine like the world here, yeah? okay? Why not, yeah? Imagine the world between your hands, yeah? Okay. So it says, uh, what does it say? Um, okay, uh, it says, I offer the sun, the moon, the f Mount Maru and the four, mount uh, four continents. Oh, oops, sorry. we shouldn't do that. <laughs> Maybe not like that. This is a traditional Tibetan mandala offering kit, yeah? We, offer, we use in the ceremonies, no? Mount Maru is the, set, is the axis mundi, mundi, the center of the world, yeah? Okay. These are the four continents. So, I mean, basically it's like the Himalayas and then there's Europe and... Anyway, the rest of the continents in the world are around. It's like a very old, funny map of the world, okay? Yeah? So we offer, offer this as a pure world around the sun, the moon, the sky and the stars, yeah? all the elements of the universe, yeah? And uh, may the ground become very smooth, no, no, no pebbles or thorns, yeah? No hills or mountains, a bit like Holland, really. <laughs> very smooth, yeah, okay? Very flat, yeah, okay? Presumably, uh, Tibetan people were fed up with going up and down their mountains, yeah? They wanted to live in a smooth, flat world like Holland, yeah, okay? Anyway, I'm joking, but anyway, very healthy, you know, like... It, like, if you go up in the Alps, no, the, the ground is very springy, no, because it's very healthy, the earth, no, with all the plants, yeah? So it's this kind of ground, yeah, okay? Anyway, so, may all beings enjoy a pure world, yeah, okay? So beautiful, yeah, okay? And there's many, many different kinds of beautiful visualization to do with that, yeah, okay? Yeah, so, also, we offer all the things that we like best, yeah? So whatever we find most beautiful, we offer in the mandala offering, okay? Anyway, it's a big subject. We'll go, we'll, we'll go on, okay? Yeah. All this is like big subjects, yeah? Okay? That should say idam, not yidam. Yeah. Okay, but anyway, yeah? yeah. Um, okay, it says, I offer uh, a pure world to the assembly of medicine Buddhas and may all beings... Uh, our mothers, yeah, who were sick and suffering, enjoy a pure land, have good health in body and mind, and have a, li have a life with, you know, enjoy, enjoy the life, okay? Yeah? Then, okay, absorbing the seven medicine Buddhas, okay? So this is like, actually, this is like what we did in the Jainang, okay? Yeah? So, it says, from the heart of glorious, excellent... Uh, uh, we're suddenly, oh, okay. Uh, how do we try? Glorious fame of excellent signs, yeah? Famous excellent one of excellent signs, yeah? From him lights the golden one on the top. This is this medicine Buddha's that on like a, uh, and a part, there's medicine Buddha, there's a red one, a white one, a pink one, and three gold ones, yeah? Remember, yeah? Above the head of Shakyamuni Buddha, yeah? So from the top one, lights go out. Yeah, to the ten directions, that means everywhere. A rainbow of lights and nectars. Okay, so now it explains like each Buddha, which chakra and what they do actually, yeah, okay? So this, this, this bit, uh, Lama Ganchen added into the traditional prayers, yeah, okay? So it heals, heals the secret chakra. So a knowledge of self-healing and making peace with the environment is super useful if you want to do the rest of the Nalso pr practices, yeah? So heals the secret chakra, so we know, like self-healing. Oh, so, okay, secret chakra, transforming fear and jealousy, yeah? 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 Okay, then, okay, then Senle Yundrag dissolves into the, into the gold Buddha below. So this is like the Jainang. So when we do these kind of sadhanas, once we've had the Jainang, the permission to practice, it's like we can retake the, exp the initiation experience every day, which is nice, no? Yeah? Yeah. Also, when we do the Guru Puja, here we do every day Guru Puja, no? And we say, uh, you are the Guru, you are the Yidam, you are the Dakadakini, and 
yeah, and so on, yeah. So we, every day we receive initiation from our Guru Buddha, from the Guru's cha crown chakra come white lights and nectars, from the throat, you know, red lights and nectars, from the heart, blue lights and nectars, and so on, yeah, okay. So also here, if you like to do medicine Buddha practice, if you've had the Jainan, yeah, then you imagine that process, like in the initiation, the gold Buddha, yeah, famous, excellent signs, dissolves into king of melodious sound. But here, what was different from yesterday is explaining what each one does, yeah, okay? So the second one is healing, uh, the navel chakra, pride and avarice, yeah, okay? Uh, then the, that Buddha is dissolving into supreme, excellent gold, the next gold one, yeah? Okay, he, he's going to stay in our brow chakra here, okay, yeah? We're, in this practice, we have seven chakras, and he's staying here, yeah? So he's he, also he's healing our ignorance, yeah? Okay, then that one dissolves into supreme glory, free from sorrow, yeah? Uh, I'm not sure what color he is, yeah? Okay, wait, what's the best person? He, anyway, and he is, what's it? Can you go? Can we pass him over there supper? Okay, so he's healing the throat chakra, Okay, unlimited desire, yeah? So this is like, the, all these things are like self-healing, aren't they, yeah? Okay, yeah? Then uh, he dissolves into ocean of melodious dharma proclaimed, yeah? Okay, who's, who's going to stay in the crown chakra, heals ignorance and of knowing, unknowing, yeah? Okay, then, so it's like these Buddhas are dissolving, like gold, three gold ones dissolve into the pink one, the white one, the red one, into the medicine Buddha, yeah? And then medicine Buddha dissolves into our heart. So this, if, we, if you like, we can do every day, yeah? The main thing is that we need to always think when we imagine Buddha, that the Buddha is together with the mind of the guru, okay? This is how the Vajrayana view works, okay? It's not just, I don't know, it's not just visualizing a load of blue and green and yellow people, yeah? It's like all these visions of enlightenment, yeah? our projections of the mind of our guru, yeah? Okay, our guru explained them to us. Our guru re realized that, and there's a lineage of gurus going back to Shakyamuni Buddha, okay? So that, with that vision, these things are very transformative, very profound, very healing, okay? Okay, so anyway, three gold Buddhas dissolve, then the pink one, the white one, the red one, the blue one, medicine Buddha, is above our head, and then medicine Buddha dissolves into our heart, yeah? If we can't manage all that, we just think medicine Buddha dissolves into me, okay? Okay. Do you want to go on a little bit, please? Yeah. So, okay, so if you have time, you can do all this long, long visualization. If not, you just think, okay, so these seven Buddhas on the picture dissolve one by one into medicine Buddha and medicine Buddha dissolve into me, yeah, okay? It's easy, yeah? Okay. Prosimo, okay. Uh, Prosimo Pajini, okay. Okay, look, so, okay. So then, okay. Yes, this picture, yes. Okay, so, there are not seven medicine Buddhas, there are eight medicine Buddhas, because the main medicine Buddha is Shakyamuni Buddha, to Wang Tendrauma, yeah, okay. So this is why, okay, this picture is, uh, actually, this is, Guru Shakyamuni healer, actually, yeah? Yesterday we, we, we did the transmission of this mantra, no? Om a Guru Buddha Beckon, Om a Guru Buddha, what's it? Om a Guru Buddha Beckons there. No, Om a Guru Shakyamuni Beckons there, Soha, yeah? Okay, yeah? Guru Shakyamuni and Medicine Buddha, yeah? Okay, the three in one, yeah? Okay. Om a Guru Shakyamuni Bekan Zaye Soha. Yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. Guru Shakyamuni Healer. Yeah, okay. This is a practice that Rinpoche, many, many years ago, when we first start doing Medicine Buddha, he used to make us do. And at the time, uh, me, for example, I understand nothing whatsoever, but okay, do the practice. Yeah. But this idea of the Guru and the Buddha and, and in union with the or Guru Daka Dakini, or Guru Yidam Protector. There's a very like profound way of looking at things, actually, within the Vajrayana tradition, yeah? We have many of this, yeah? Yeah? Like, I don't know, like, in Guru Puja, you know, we have Lama, Lobsang, Tubwang, Doji, Chang. Lama, yeah, our Guru, 
Lobsang is Lama Sankarpa. It's a bit like all the big pictures in our gompa. Yeah? So there's what, Lama Sankarpa on the other side of the screen. Yeah, Lama Sankarpa. Yeah? Uh, 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 Lama Lobsang Tub Tubwang, Shakyamuni Buddha. Yeah? It's like Russian dolls, no? Okay, there's our guru, and then there's Lama Sankarpa, and there's Shakyamuni Buddha in the heart of Shakyamuni Buddha is Guru Vajradhara, who's the tantric aspect of Shakyamuni Buddha, yeah? Okay? So if we can see Buddha uh, like this, yeah? Our guru like this, it's a very profound way of understanding the practice, yeah? Okay? So this is another one, actually, yeah? Like Guru Shakyamuni heal, uh, Medicine Buddha, yeah? Okay? So that's a very, very beautiful image, yeah? Okay, of course, we put at the image of our guru. If you have another guru, you can put your, your guru's face, yeah? Okay? But anyway, so beautiful, so meaningful, so profound, yeah, okay? Also, of course, actually, here is in the heart of, Sh of Shakyamuni Buddha is Medicine Buddha, okay, yeah? Yeah? So this Medicine Buddha and, Sh and uh, Shakyamuni Buddha are one nature, di but different aspects, okay? Showing different things, yeah, okay? Shakyamuni Buddha is healing through principally by teaching us the path to, it, to awakening, no? The Four Noble Truths and interdependence, yeah, okay, yeah, karma, interdependence, these kind of things, yeah, very profound way of healing. Medicine Buddha is healing in all many different ways, but more is it taking, bringing our body and mind into balance, yeah, so then we've got time to do the healing that Shakyamuni Buddha is offering us, yeah, okay, yeah, because the fruits of the tree of medicine are long life, yeah, good health and wisdom, yeah, yeah, because if we have a long life and we're healthy, we can spend time to understand these profound things, okay? So, so beautiful. I really, really like that image, yeah, okay? Yeah? Okay, please, uh, Geraldo, okay? Okay, so, okay, now we're requesting the blessings of, okay. Um, first, actually, Rinpoche Guru, yeah? So, over there, on the throne over there is uh, the image of uh, uh, Kepji Trijan Rinpoche, yeah? Lobsang Yeshi Tenzin Gyatso, who was the, um, one of the teachers of the 14th Dalai Lama, super important, famous Lama since many lifetimes, and Lama, Ga Lama Ganshin's root guru, yeah? Okay, Rim Rinpoche, Lama Ganshin. For years, okay, when we were young, not, not, I mean, not that we understand everything now, but when we were young, we understand much less, yeah? So always Rinpoche was like, oh, now we need to do Trijan Rinpoche mantra, Trijan Rinpoche prayer, yeah? And we're thinking, who is Trijan Rinpoche? But anyway, so we need to do this. Whatever we do, any activity, we need to request the blessing of Trijan Rinpoche. So we do together with him. And it, or like Rinpoche, you know, like um, he used to live in Milano in the Kumpan. <laughs> and it, his whole room, the roof, yeah? was covered in images of Trijan Rinpoche's guru, you know, completely covered, everything, like here we have this tattoo wall, yeah, Rinpoche's first tattoo wall was the face of his guru, yeah, like many, like big, you know, like what do you call it, a, this size, yeah, I think he discovered a colour photocopier in Milano, yeah, at that time it was kind of new, this technology, you know, maybe Cosi, you even made, did you make those copies, yeah, yeah, sorry, did you do them? Or was it already there when you arrived, yeah? Yeah, I mean, it, it really gave me, anyway, Rim, you know, Rinpoche's little house, his labyrinth, he had hundreds of these pictures of his guru, yeah? And now, okay, now, nowadays we understand something, yes, it's true, you know, those times, oh, amazing, you know, didn't understand anything, yeah? In, okay, so, oh, so, first, and by the way, the, okay, Trijang Rinpoche, yeah, Kepji Trijang Rinpoche. Now we have, of course, His Holiness Chogtro Rinpoche, yeah, who is the incarnation of Kepji Trijang Rinpoche, okay. Um, so, His Holiness Trijang Rinpoche, yeah, and then for us, Ganshan Rinpoche, it's like the end of what we call the Mahamudra lineage prayer, of course, the, each disciple, they have a little different version of that, you know. But anyway, it's like the end of this amazing lineage we call the Mahamudra lineage, yeah? The lineage of how to understand the nature of the mind, yeah? Okay? To understand interdependence, how to get some realizations, yeah? We call, we call Mahamudra. In other traditions, they call Dzogchen, they call different things, okay? Yeah? There's different names for this realization, yeah? Okay? We, we call the great seal of realization, okay? Yeah? 
So this last, these two verses are the last two verses. I think in our tradition, Gendanyingu, I think there's 37 or 38 gurus. Yeah, okay, lot, yeah. So Rinpoche said, don't panic. You just have to do two of them and remember all the rest, yeah, fortunately, okay. Yeah. Anyway, so so beautiful, yeah. So the prayer to His Holiness Kebji Trijang Rinpoche, yeah. It says you manifest, it's like in here now, you manifest and reabsorb the ocean of mandalas, yeah? Like in here, no? It was one point, the central pillar, yeah? The mind of enlightenment, yeah? And from that manifests all this, yeah? Yeah? Like, exactly like in our temple, yeah? And then zooms back to one point, yeah? Okay? Okay? Did, okay, Lujaza, okay. Losangya wa kungi e sheni chi tu dri mehe kyal ten zin pezo rab jan kyal ko gyaso tru dun gun trin chen la mehe shabla so wa de. See, you emanate and, re emanate and reabsorb the ocean of mandalas, yeah? Like we have here in our temple, yeah? Yeah? Okay. Om a guru vajra dara sumati gyana shasana dara samudra si badra sawasiti hum Om a guru vajra dara sumati gyana shasana dara samudra si badra sawasiti hum Om a guru vajra dara sumati gyana shasana dara samudra si badra sawasiti hum Okay, this is called the name mantra of the guru. It's the guru, no, the gurus, they have like long Tibetan names showing their spiritual qualities, yeah, okay? So it's translated into Sanskrit and that's the name mantra of the guru with Om Guru Vajradhara and then the rest of the name, yeah, okay? Okay, so first is Holiness uh, Kepti Trijang Rinpoche, Kepti Trijang. Doji Chang means Vajradhara, yeah, the, the one who's realized the state of enlightenment on the highest tantra level, yeah, okay? Then to our precious Kanchen Rinpoche. Lucho Zampo Pel Gyuta Shipa Tu Chen Tempe Hetrin Leya Noda Pe Gedro Lo Zampe Zepa Chen Pal Den La Mehe Shapla So Wade Om Aguru Vajradhara Sumahati Muni Shahasahane Kama Uttavahadanye Sri Bahadra Vasamahanya Sawasiti it's showing Rinpoche's quality, like he made everything for our time, you know. I mean, in the past, there's been hundreds and thousands of great enlightened masters, okay, who made things for their time. Our Kanchen Rinpoche made what was necessary for our time, you know, our time of environmental collapse, of so many, many social problems. So he did the pra practices suitable, fitting with our society, addressing the problems that we actually have now, you know, not things from ancient India or medieval Tibet, okay? Yeah? Although, of course, everything is beautiful, yeah? Okay? So we're very, very lucky, okay? Okay, then, okay. This is the last verse, last verse of the Mahamudra, Mahamudra lineage prayer of the Ganda Nyingu tradition. May your holy body, speech, and mind become inseparable from mine. And then it says, pa, no, father, yeah? So... Then Lama Ganshan in, I don't know, maybe like 20 years ago, he added like ma, ma kyo ki kudang, yeah? S to show that actually enlightenment has both aspects. So you can see here in our temple, both the masculine and the feminine, yeah? Two, two sides of enlightenment, yeah? Okay? Yeah? Okay? Pa kyo ki kudang, da ha gi hi lu, pa kyo ki sun, da ha da gi na. Pa kyo ki tu da da ha gi hi yi Da nye me chi tu jin gi a lo Ma kyo ki ku da Da ha gi hi lu Ma kyo ki sun da ha da gi na Ma kyo ki tu da Da ha gi hi yi Da nye me chi tu jin 
this we've actually, this is, we've already changed that. So now we imagine uh, our guru, who is the same nature as Shakyamuni, our medicine Buddha, melts into light, dissolves through our head and mixes with our subtle mind at our heart. And then we just meditate, you know, Med just feel it, you know. So, if you're meditating at home, just sit at this point, just stay there, just receive the inspiration of the Guru's holy mind, of the Buddha mind. Even if this is actually enough, yeah, okay? Okay? Just stay on that point. Just actually, it could be enough, and then, okay, I just want to meditate like that, mixing my mind with the Guru's mind, and that could be a perfect meditation, actually, okay? Yeah? From this inspiration, okay, then everything else is coming very easily, okay? Yeah? Actually, I need to give you a new version, actually, uh, Geraldo. Uh, um, this we actually changed, yeah? okay? Uh, Carmen, yeah, Carmen Yodishi, who's taking care of the Medicine Buddha practice, we edited the, um, the other day, no? So I need to give you the, sorry, I didn't give you the new version, yeah? Okay? Okay. Um, okay, anyway. Okay, after staying there, okay, receiving the inspiration, the Jin Lab of the Guru, then we can do Amuni Amuni Mahamuni Shakyamuni So Amuni Amuni Mahamuni Shakya Munye Soha Omuni Muni Maha Muni Shakya Munye Soha With this one mantra, yeah, with there's many, many healing meditations that go together. Uh, we have this book called uh, Guide to the Good Thought Supermarket. I think it's available in Italiano. I think so. Yeah. Is it? Yeah. yeah. I think, anyway, I think it is. And anyway, if you look in there, they explain many beautiful meditations to do with one mantra. And Rinpoche Lama Ganch was very keen on this, yeah? Because sometimes, you know, oh, it's too much, you know? Then, oh, what am I going to do? No idea, yeah? So, okay. I know medicine, uh, I know Shakyamuni Buddha, yeah? If in doubt, do Om Muni Muni Maha Muni Shakyamuni Soha. Buddha is with me, yeah, okay, yeah? Buddha is my spiritual company, yeah, okay? Then from Shakyamuni come all the red, blue, green, and all the other Buddhas and mandalas, yeah, okay? So you can develop wisdom, you can develop empathy, you can meditate to help, you can use it protect, as spiritual protection, you can meditate at the time of death, you can help somebody who's afraid, you know, you can do all kinds of beautiful meditations with this one mantra, one practice of Shakyamuni Buddha. I think, like I say, I think they reprinted this book in Italiano, but I'm not sure because I don't look, yeah? But maybe we find out for tomorrow, yeah? I, I will go and look in our shop, yeah? If not, anyway, it's in English and other languages, yeah? Anyway, if not, we can explain if we get time, yeah, okay? So, so beautiful, yeah, okay? Yeah, Rinpoche, when he came to the West, he used this mantra mainly for 10 years. Many people had, you know, incredible personal development with this one mantra, okay? Yeah. So why is actually one mantra is enough, yeah? Actually, actually, if you, everything is there, yeah, okay? So if you like just one mantra, please use this one, yeah, okay? Okay, then, okay, then there's some other mantras, yeah? Now. This, this part of the sadhana is written so anybody can do, okay? Anybody in the world can imagine, if, imagine Shakyamuni Buddha in front and say the mantra, yeah, okay? Anybody can say the mantra of uh, Medicine Buddha, yeah? Okay? 
Okay, so then, okay, and then there's the ma mantra of um, Medicine Buddha. Okay, this is our special Nelso way of doing it. Actually, not just Nelso, but ancient tradition from the yogic tradition. So there's an extra beckonsy at the end, yeah? Okay. Tayata on Bekanze, Bekanze, Maha Bekanze, Bekanze, Raja Samogati, Bekanze, Soha, Tayata on Bekanze, Bekanze, Maha Bekanze, Bekanze, Raja Samogati, Bekanze, Soha, Tayata on Bekanze, Bekanze, Maha Bekanze, Bekanze, Raja Samogati, Bekanze, Soha. Okay, some kind of translation. Healer, no, can you go up? Huh? Healer, healer, great healer, huh? uh, king of healers. We invoke your energy. Please help us to heal the physical and mental sicknesses, the three poisons of ignorance, unlimited desire and hatred, and in particular, the mind that grasps itself, yeah? Okay, this is the root of what we call the dualistic vision, the, let's say, perceptual mistake that creates all the rest of the problems in our life, yeah, okay? which is the root of my samsa, personal samsara, you know? So they always give this example, that if you have a poisonous plant in your garden, just pulling off the leaves is not enough. You need to dig it up from the root, yeah? So, okay, but anyway, we have many different things to heal, but finally, we need to uproot this wrong vision of reality, yeah, okay? So please help me to obtain the total healing of awakening, okay? So that's like an extended tr uh, translation of the mantra of, Buddha Shakyamuni, the Rinpoche like add many different things, you know, so it make more clear, you know, okay? Okay, okay, then next please, yeah, okay? Okay, so anytime you, you're sick, you're suffering, if somebody has a problem, any kind of problem, social or war, social problem, emotional problem, there's not enough water, there's a famine, I mean, basically, every time you see the news, you can see, do Medicine Buddha Mantra, okay? It's helping, yeah? Okay, uh, sorry, tomorrow I'm going to give you a new version. Maybe I'll give it you now, actually. So there's a new, improved version. This is the old, not edited version. Can, uh, maybe, I, um, can I airdrop it to you, Jerry? What? Can we airdrop? Possiamo fare yeah. airdrop? Posso yeah. mandare questo a te? No, so. Yes. No. Okay. Scusate un attimo, perché abbiamo già cambiato questo, no? Scusate un attimino. Uh, facciamo le mantra di Buddha di medicina insieme. Anche io faccio il airdrop a Jerry, così mettiamo la versione meglio, ok? Tayata on Bekanze, Bekanze, Maha Bekanze, Bekanze, Ranza Samogati, Bekanze, Soha. Tayata on Bekanze, Bekanze, Maha Bekanze. Bekanze Ranza Samogati Bekanze Yesoha Tayata on Bekanze Bekanze Maha Bekanze Bekanze Ranza Samogati Bekanze Yesoha Tayata on Bekanze Bekanze Maha Bekanze Bekanze Ranza Samogati Bekanze Yesoha Tayata on Bekanze Bekanze Maha Bekanze Bekanze Ranza Samogati Bekanze Yesoha Tayata on Bekanze Bekanze Maha Bekanze Bekanze Ranza Samogati Bekanze Yeso Tayata on Bekanze Bekanze Maha Bekanze Bekanze Ranza Samogati Bekanze Yesoha Tayata on Bekanze, Bekanze, Maha Bekanze, Bekanze, Ranza Samogate, Bekanza Yesu. Tayata on Bekanze, Bekanze, Maha Bekanze, Bekanze, Ranza Samogate, Bekanza Yesu. Tayata on Bekanze, Bekanze, Maha Bekanze, Bekanze, Ranza Samogate, Bekanza Yesu. Tayata on Bekanze, Bekanze, Maha Bekanze, Bekanze, Ranta Samogate, Bekanza Yesoha. Tayata on Bekanze, Bekanze, Maha Bekanze, Bekanze, Ranta Samogate, Bekanza Yesoha. Tayata on Bekanze, Bekanze, Maha Bekanze. 
Bekazir and the Samogate, Bekaza Yesoha, Tayata, O Bekaze, Bekaze, Maha Bekaze, Bekazir and the Samogate, Bekaza Yesoha, Tayata, O Bekaze, Bekaze, Maha Bekaze, Bekazir and the Samogate, Bekaza Yesoha, Tayata, O Bekaze, Bekaze, Maha Bekaz. Bekanzer and the Samogate, Bekanza Yesoha, Tayata, O Bekanze, Bekanze, where's the air drop? Gate, Bekanza Yesoha, Tayata, O Bekanze, Bekanze, Maha Bekans, Bekanzer and the Samogate, Bekanza Yesoha, Tayata, O Bekanze, Bekanze, Maha Bekan. Bekswitzwitz. <laughs> Bekanzer and the Samogate, Bekanza Yeso, Tayata, page pa, venti, venti, twenty. Maha Bekanze, Bekanzer and the Samogate, Bekanza Yeso, Tayata, O Bekanze, Bekanze, Maha Bek, Bekanzer and the Samogate, Bekanza Yeso. Okay, this is the new improved version, yeah? Okay, okay. Okay, actually what, what we're adding in, like the Tibetan and things, anyway, just a few little things, yeah? The, in the book it's fine, but anyway, we're making this final version with Tibetan and stuff, yeah? To go with the DVD, yeah? Okay. So no problem, okay? Okay. Uh, okay. Om Om Ye Dama Hetu Prabhawa Hetun Teshun Tata Gato Hewa Dato Teshun Chayo Nero Da Evan Badi Maha Sramanaye So Geraldo, il Tatagata disse Il Tatagata disse Tutti i fenomeni sorgono da cause e condizioni I mandala contenitori del contenuto sorgono dall'interdipendenza di recitazione concentrazione, meditazione, fede, potere e benedizioni del lignaggio dello scienziato interiore, Buddha Shakyamuni. Buddha was a scientist, no? Because he knew Ayurveda, he knew astro Vedic astrology, mathematics, he used all kinds of incredible things, no? So he really was an inner scientist, yeah? Chunam tam Gyula go pa ha ka yin ba Ge jo hon chen po ho de ki so Ge jo hon chen po ho nu dru so Ge jo hon chen po ho ta shi so Gerardo? Om, tutti i fenomeni dipendono da cause e condizioni. Ne siamo coscienti perché Tathagata è grande asceta dalle parole di verità, ha detto. Ciò che non dipende da cause e condizioni non esiste, soha. Possa. Il grande asceta concede le benedizioni delle realizzazioni che ogni cosa sia di buon auspicio. No? This is the. Um, trans... Where's it gone? Ecco. Okay. Possa il grande asceta concederci le benedizioni e le realizzazioni che ogni cosa sia di buon auspicio. Okay, so I was saying yesterday, no, that here in our temple of heaven on the earth, yeah, in the center we have this beautiful mandala, no, this big square one, no, where the crystal pillar enters, yeah, and on the sides, the white, yeah, Lama Ganshan wanted to, to write there, this is, this is what's written there, Om Yedama Hetu Prabhava, in Sanskrit and Tibetan and one kind of Sanskrit called Rajana, which is the ornamental kind of Nepali Sanskrit, which is used to de decorate Buddhist temples, yeah? Okay, so actually that means the main point is this, no? M main message is here, no? So we always need to think about how things are connected, how things exist, yeah? Things are not 
fixed, they're not permanent, everything changes, like the seasons, like nature, yeah. We too, we have seasons, you know, we're young and then we're adult and then old and then we die, it's natural, you know. So this is the first level of, you know, getting health, mentally healthy, you know, to accept things as they naturally are, yeah, okay. And then after that, there's other kind of levels of understanding interdependence, more profound actually. But first we need to get the first one, you know to accept nature, how important it is, and how the natural process is not bad, it's just how it is, no? Anyway, so very deep, deep things, yeah, okay? Okay. These mantras are the ones that we do after we have done the retreat of Shakyamuni Buddha uh, um, and Medicine Buddha, okay? So in our Zoom group, yeah, which for the Italian group is on Mondays, by the way, which will start again in September. And if anybody likes to join, you're welcome. It's free, yeah? okay? Or if not, if you're in Albaniano, actually, best is on the eighth and the eighth lunar day or the full moon. Carmen is is taking care of the medicine Buddha practice. Best is to come in person in the beautiful temple and do it together. But if you live in some other part of Italia, on Mondays we have the Italian group, okay? If you are a Spanish-speaking person, it's on Tuesdays. If you speak Portuguese, it's on Sunday, yeah? And if you speak French or English, it's on Wednesday, okay? So we're continuing at the moment with this practice of the Medicine Buddha together. So if you'd like to join, you're very welcome, yeah? Okay, because there's a group of us doing together, yeah, every week, yeah? It's nice, yeah? Also, so many things to pray for. And at the moment, we're still doing that. We're accumulating these mantras of Medicine Buddha and so on, you know, dedicating for our friend, our family, the world, and so on, yeah? After 100,000 of the main mantra, then there's the action mantras. So, for example, um, I'm sure there's a tune, no? A special tune? Does anybody know the special tune? Babel, you know the special tunes, don't you, of these mantras, yeah? Oh my Guru Buddha. Rimshi always used to do this. Rock Shanti Siddhi Soha, Punya Siddhi Soha, Prajna Siddhi. Also, we have this in Guru Puji. Yeah? Do you remember a special tune or not? Hmm? You want to try? Okay. Actually, um, Oh, so many, you know. So actually, Thomas yesterday at the end of the jaina was doing very beautiful. Let me see if I... I'm not a very good singer, unfortunately, but let me have a go. Tayata ohombe kaze be kazaye I need to look at the mantra, sorry. <laughs> One second. <laughs> it make very like this um, ego-friendly, you know. Let me see if we can do it, yeah? Okay, One second. Maybe you can help me, yeah, please. Huh? Tayata oh bekaze bekaza ye maha bekaze bekaza ye raja samugate bekaza ye suha. Something like that, yeah? He sings really beautiful, yeah? This is Tayata Rinpoche said we can put many, many uh, mantras to this tune, yeah? Okay, so if I'm not doing exactly right, but. They never let me into United Peace Voices, but anyway. <laughs> anyway, so please help, yeah, okay. Tayata oh bekaze, bekaza ye maha bekaze, bekaza ye raja, samugate soha. It's easier without the last bekanze. Tayata oh bekaze. Bekaza ye maha bekaze, bekaza ye raja, samugate soha. You know, there's many of these beautiful mantras, yeah? Okay, so beautiful, yeah? Also, also, if you look on YouTube, full of beautiful mantras of Medicine Buddha, feel free to put all, you know? I do, I put what I like, you know? Yeah, when I'm doing the retreat and playing all the time the mantra, yeah? Okay. So after we've done 100,000 of the main mantra, like this, yeah, or then there's these, these other mantras, yeah? So actually, when usually when you say a mantra, it's like quiet, actually, isn't it, yeah? You should say under your voice, yeah? But Rinpoche Lama Ganchen used to, read, they used to some people used to call him the singing Lama, yeah? 
He was always singing mantras and sharing their healing power, okay? So we have many beautiful tunes, but like, for example, me, I can't remember the tune for this right now. So then we have like the standard Tibetan tune, like, Om A Guru Buddha Bekanse Shanti Siddhi Hom, it's easy, no? Om A Guru Buddha Bekanse Shanti Siddhi Hom. Shanti means peace, okay? Yeah? So we imagine like very pe like in our gompa here, we have different, white is peace, yeah? So imagine very peaceful energy, you know? Yeah, like when it snows, this peaceful feeling, yeah? Then, Om A Guru Buddha Bekanse Punya Siddhi Hom. Om A Guru Buddha Bekanse Punya Siddhi Hom. This is, Punya means increasing, yeah? Or positive energy. So in our, in our gompa, with us the yellow section like all the crops growing, like the summer, like the midday, yeah, okay? So all the positive energies are increasing, yeah? Then there's Om A Guru Buddha Bekanse Prajna Siddhi Hom. Prajna is exalted wisdom, yeah, okay? Seeing things correctly, yeah, okay? So um, these mantras we do after we got the connection with the main practice, yeah, okay? Yeah? When we do a retreat, it's called a uh, getting near to the pr near to the energy of the Buddha, okay? And once you've got near, then you can do all these other things like pacify, increase the energy, and so on. But first you need to, like the line is on, It's you get the feeling, no? Then, yeah? Okay, then the last one is Om A Guru Buddha Bekanze Sawa Siddhi Hom Om A Guru Buddha Bekanze Sawa Siddhi Hom Sawa Siddhi means all realization, yeah? So... You know, all positive things we have in mind, may they be realized, yeah, okay? Anyway, so this is afterwards, but anyway, it's in the book, yeah, okay? As Rinpoche like to, you know, share everything with us, but just because it's in the book doesn't mean we know how to do it, yeah, okay? We know how to do it when it works, yeah? And that is by practice, takes, maybe, some, everybody's different, maybe some person it's very quick, other people maybe it takes longer, yeah, but... Till it, we really get the connection, we need to do, like, you know, do all these mantras and things. I was uh, giving this example yesterday of one lady in San Paolo, and she, recently she had a cancer operation, and of course she was very worried, no? And she said, what shall, we, what shall I do? I said, oh, well, Lama Ganshan, who's a great healer, taught medicine Buddha. Would you like to try? We have this group. So she came along for one week to the group. Then when she wake up from the cancer surgery, first thing she see, like a vision, was medicine Buddha, yeah? So she's very quick, no? Like after one week, yeah? That's not my case. I have, after a long time, it's not happened to me, but anyway, we keep trying until we get the realization, yeah? Okay, each one of us is different time, yeah? Different possibility, different karma, yeah? Okay? Which is why, by the way, we have retreats of time, like, for example, in August, no? We're going to do the retreat of Therachitamani, from August the 12th to August the 18th. This is a retreat of time, fixed time, yeah? Then we have a retreat of um, uh, sign, when, you know, you do it till it, it, you get a realization. And then the th third one, but now I can't remember what the third one is. Anyways, different kinds of retreat, no? Sign, um, realization, and the third one, anyway. But usually we do the, obviously, the... Of what? Of what? Oh, yes, um, of a number, that means, okay, I will do 100,000 or 1 million. Or, it's just like some way to get like connection with the practice, okay? Yeah. So we shouldn't get really, ob okay, look, we like to count mantras, yeah? But we shouldn't get obsessed with that. We should just think, okay, this is a process, I'm on a journey, yeah? And one day I will really get the deep, profound connection with this practice and it will come automatically, yeah? And until then, I need to recite all these mantras and all this stuff, yeah? Okay, yeah? So it's just a pro... You know, we're on a journey. We don't know how long it will take, yeah? Maybe one life, three lives, 16 lives. We don't know, but anyway, we're on a, on a journey, yeah? Okay? Anyway, so that's actually for later, okay? Uh, okay. So it says, okay, the practica of the external visualization of the seven medicine Buddhas, you... Okay, you, if you want, you can stop here, it means, yeah? Okay, because actually this is a long practice, yeah? Okay? So this, like in our Tara Chittamani book,
book, yeah, the Nalsa one. You can you don't need to do it all at the same time. There's a first part, yeah. That you, yeah, you visualize Tara, Tara, you do the mantra, you receive the blessing and dedication, yeah. And it's the same with the medicine Buddha. It's kind of enough actually, yeah. And most people in the world, by the way, they do medicine Buddha practice like this. There is medicine Buddha. You say the request and the mantra for healing for yourself and others and then dedication, you know, okay? So it could be perfectly all right and wonderful to do like that, okay, yeah? Okay? So it says, so that's why, this is a note, so it says, okay, if you haven't received the initiation, but everybody here has received the initiation, yeah? Uh, after, hang on, wait, it says, after you have recited the mantra, go to the dedication prayers, yeah? Okay? That means don't do the rest of it, yeah? Okay? Yeah? Okay, so if there's anybody watching this on streaming and you haven't received the initiation, please find a qualified guru, of which there's many, many, many different gurus in the Tibetan, Nepalese, Chinese, Western Buddhist traditions who have some feeling and connection and this lineage of this practice, please go and receive the initiation yeah, from them, okay? As it, happen, as, as it happens here, yesterday we did, so here, Albaniano, it's okay, but anybody watching, if you want to go deeply into these practices, you should receive the uh, refuge, the bodhisattva vows, the entrance into the Mahayana, and what's called the Jainang, the permission to practice, yeah? If not, there's a kind of level of practice you're welcome to do, of course, yeah? Buddha, anyway, is there to help you. Anyway, you can say the mantra of Medicine Buddha or Buddha Tara, no problem, or Shakyamuni Buddha. But there's many other levels that it's much better to have the initiation. The practice works much more profoundly because we're connecting with the lineage of gurus, yeah? Okay, so, yeah, it's not something just freshly made up in this generation. It's a stream of inspiration and blessing going back many centuries. So that's why it's very important to receive these uh, permissions to practice, okay? So if you, did, anybody watching, if you didn't, please, there's many, many realized masters around the world, so please find one and receive the Jainang of Medicine Buddha, okay? Okay? So what, uh, actually, now we will just do the practice, okay? Well, now we're going to do it just like, you know, following the mantras, okay, without it reading all the explanation, yeah? Okay, so this is now for we in the Nalso tradition who have received this permission to practice, yeah? Okay? Okay? Okay, so let's do that, okay? So we, now what we're gonna do is just f like self-healing, okay? We're gonna say the mantras and there's some illustrations, yeah? Okay? Go please, J Jerry, can you? Yes, what time do we finish? Okay, 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 we do quickly, okay? Okay, no problem. We will do, Rinpoche always said we can do this in five minutes, so let's try, okay? Okay. Ocho zam po pel gyuta shi pa tu chen tem pe he tin le ya no da pe gye dro lo zam pe ze pa chen pa den la me he sha bla so wa de oma gu hu hu ru Vajra Tahara Suhumahati Muni Shahasahane Kama Uttavahadanye Sri Bahadra Vasamahanya Sawasidi Hu Show the picture please. Okay, this is the okay, we imagine in front medicine Buddha with the seven medicine Buddhas at the seven chakras. We do Om Our Guru Buddha beckons this our city home. We receive their blessing. Okay, Om Om Our Guru uh, Om Our Guru beckon. I forgot the tune. This Pam Le Pam Maha Po. Om Our Om Our Guru beckons this our city home. Om Our Guru beckons this our city home. Om a guru bekan se sawasidihum. 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 Om a guru buddha bekan se sawasidihum. 
Next, uh, five element purification, but now we've got seven chakras, yeah? Okay? Okay. Uh, Aspetti, aspetti. Eh, eh, yam, ram, ram, lam, ba, ho, shuddy, shuddy, so. We do that in more detail another day, okay? Okay, now opening the lotuses. Seven lotuses, yeah? We say Pamle Pema Jatsun. Jatsun means rainbow, okay? Pamle Pema Jatsun. 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 Now is the seed syllables. So it's a beautiful picture, no? Okay. So the seed syllables of enlightenment are in our five, in our seven chakras. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Om 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 So, 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 ha, 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 The colors are the colors of the Buddhas, yeah? That's why it's different from self-healing, yeah? Okay, now the symbols arise, actually like self-healing, yeah? Okay, but seven chakras. Anyway, you can see in Italian the explanation. Hale naso doje se poha, sole no bu se po so, uh, solar plexus, no, sole no bu ma po so, a uh, quarry, hung le doje non po hum, gola, om le colo, sorry, ale pema ma po. Fronte omle colo se po oh corona no omle colo capo om. Now from the symbols arise the seven medicine Buddhas within our seven chakras, yeah? Okay. Om kole om colo chitra gyaso yam. O colo says a dream. O a pema nanye me hepel. Ho doje sangye me hem. So no po non can get help. So try and get help. Ha na so do je se le yun. So self healing, we go up and then we go down and then we go up, like self healing. No? Okay? Okay. Completion stage. Lama sen le yun dra kyan. Okay? Chom de 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 shi sha pa dra chom pa yan da pe zo pe san ke sen le yun dra la cha sa lo cha tu kya su chi wo. O tatagata, a Buddha completamente perfecto, gloriosa fama di excellenti segni, omnisciente, guarditore specializzato nel curare la gelosia e la paura. A te mi prostro, faccio offerte, and in te prendo rifugio. Okay. Chom de de se le yondra shude shude so ha. Chom de de se le yondra atis kiana atis kiti so ha. Tayata on bekanse bekanse maha bekanse. Bekanse raza samu gati bekanse yesu. Tayata o bekanse bekanse maha bekanse. Bekanse raza samu gati bekanse yesu. Tayata o bekanse bekanse maha bekanse. Bekanse raza samu gati bekanse yesu. Okay, next. 
uh, crown initiation of Ratnasambhava, healing the navel chakra with uh, supreme king of melodious sound, Lama Drayan Gelpoken. Chom de 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 shin shi pa tra chom pa yan da pe so pe sang ge tra yan gi gyao po la cha tse lo shi tu kya su chi wo O Tathagata Buddha O Tathagata, Buddha completamente perfetto, re del suono melodioso, onnisciente, guaritore specializzato nel curare l'orgoglio e l'avarizia A te mi prosterno, faccio offerte e in te prendo rifugio Chom de de drayangyapo shude shude soha. Chom de de drayangyapo atishkyana atishkiti so. Tomorrow we start to talk about the promise of the medicine Buddha. So when we do atikyana atikiti soha, we imagine all the energy of the, the special promises each Buddha made is coming into us and going to everybody else, okay? Tayata on Bekanze, Bekanze, Maha Bekanze, Bekanze, Raza Samogate, Bekanze, Soha. Tayata on Bekanze, Bekanze, Maha Bekanze, Bekanze, Raza Samogate, Bekanze, Soha. Tayata on Bekanze, Bekanze, Maha Bekanze, Bekanze, Raza Samogate, Bekanze, Soha. Chakra di Plesso Solari. Lama nunkin gel po ken. Chon de 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 shin shi pa tra chon pa yan da pe zo pe sang ge non ken gel po la cha tse lo cha tu kya su chi wo. O Tathagata, Buddha completamente perfetto, re della chiara conoscenza, onnisciente, guaritore specializzato nel curare l'orgoglio e la verizia, a te mi prostro, faccio offerte e in te prendo rifugio. Chom de de non kien gyal po shu de shu de so ha. Chom de de non kien gyal po atish kyan a atish kiti so ha. Tayata on bekanze bekanze maha bekanze bekanze raza samukati bekanze yeso ha. Tayata on Bekanze, Bekanze, Maha Bekanze, Bekanze, Raza Samogate, Bekanze, Yesoha. Tayata on Bekanze, Bekanze, Maha Bekanze, Bekanze, Raza Samogate, Sankanze, Yesoha. Okay, Chakra del Kuri, Buddha della Medicina. Lama Sangye Menla Kyan. Chom de 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 shin shi pa tra chom pa yan da pe zo pe sang ge men la la cha sa lo cha tu kya zo chi wo. O Tathagata, Buddha completamente perfetto, Buddha della medicina, onnisciente, guaritore specializzato nel curare l'ira e l'odio. A te mi prostro, faccio offerte e in te prendo rifugio. Chom de de sa ge men la shu de shu de so ha. Okay, for example, Medicine Buddha made 12 promises to help, so all this 12 energy comes into us. Chom de de sangye men la atish kyana atish kiti so Tayata on bekanze bekanze maha bekanze bekanze raza samogate bekanze yeso Tayata on bekanze bekanze maha bekanze bekanze raza samogate bekanze yeso Tayata on bekanze bekanze maha bekanze bekanze raza samogate bekanze yeso Initiazione del vaso di Amitabha. Lama Nyanya Mepelkyen. Chom de 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 shin shi pa tra chom pa yan da pa zo pe sang ye nyanya mepela cha tse lo cha tu kya so chi wo. O Tathagata, Buddha completamente perfetto, gloria suprema libera dal dolore, onnisciente, guaritore specializzato nel curare l'attaccamento illimitato e desiderio. A te mi prostro, faccio offerte e in te prendo rifugio. Chom de de nanye mel pel shudi shudi soha. Ok, he made four special prayers, yeah? 
Chom de de nyanyeme pe atish kiana atish kiti soha. Tayata o bekanze, bekanze, maha bekanze, bekanze, raza samugate, bekanze soha. Okay, uh, Chakra del Fronte, uh, Guaditore Supremo, Tatagata Excellente Oro Purissimo. Lama says Angdrime Kien. Chom de 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 shinsha patra chom pa yan da pe so pe sangye sa zandri me la cha se lo chu tu kya so chi wo. O Tathagata, Buddha completamente perfetto, eccellente e oro purissimo, onnisciente, guaritore specializzato nel curare l'ignoranza e l'ottosità. A te mi prostro, faccio offerte e te prendo rifugio. Chom de de sa zandri me shu de shu de so. Noi abbiamo fatto quattro promesse. Chom de de se zandri me atis kiana atis kiti soha. Tayata on bekanze, bekanze, maha bekanze, bekanze, raza samogate, bekanze, ye soha. Iniciazioni di chakra del capo, guaditore supremo, tatagata, oceano melodioso di dama, proclamato. Lama trajag, sorry, lama chudrag gyatso yang kien. Chom de 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 shin shia patra chom pa yan da pe so pe sangi tra da kya so yang la cha tse lo cha tu kya so chi wo. O Tathagata, Buddha completamente perfetto, oceano melodioso del Dharma proclamato, onnisciente, guaritore specializzato nel curare l'ignoranza e l'ottosità. A te mi prostro, faccio offerte e in te prendo rifugio. Chom de de tre tre kya so yang shu de shu de so ha Chom de de tre tre kya so yang atish kya na atish ki ti so ha Tayata on bekan se bekan se maha bekan se bekan se rasa samugate bekan sa ye so Oh, mani pe me hu 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 Oh, maha suka hu. Oh, maha suka hu. Oh, maha suka hu. Tre chakra superiori, tre chakra inferiori. Oh, 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 maha suka hu. Oh, maha suka hu. Oh, maha suka hon kore. Oh, maha suka hon. Oh, maha suka hon. Buon momento di fare la pausa e meditare, però non abbiamo tempo. Oh, bishwa shanti hon. Oh, bishwa shanti hon. Oh, bishwa shanti hon. Om Bishwa Shanti Om Bishwa Shanti Gye wa di hi nyu du da Lama sang gye he men la ku Se wa shi tam te tam te l jon te Tri me he ri zi nyu du to pa shu Ni mo de le he se de le Ni me ko ya han de le shin Ni sen ta ha tu de le pel Kun cho ho sun ki jing ki lo Kun cho ho sun ki nu tru so Kun cho ho sun ki ta shi shu All'alba o tramonto di notte o durante il giorno 
Possono i tre gioielli concederci le loro benedizioni, possono aiutarci a ottenere tutte le realizzazioni e cospargere il sentiero della nostra vita con molti segni di buon auspicio. Ok, dono dusk at night and midday, may the three jewels grant us their blessings, may they help us to achieve all realizations and sprinkle the path of our lives with various signs of auspiciousness. Grazie, thank you. So abbiamo, ci abbiamo fatto, c'è un minuto che rimane. <laughs> so, non, 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 it's not always, it doesn't have to be a long practice, okay? Just need to understand then, okay, a lot of explanation, then we make short, yeah? Main thing is to make the connection and also to, you know, connect with each of the seven medicine Buddhas. Also, they make beautiful prayer and promise, we need to know what they are and ask them to do it, you know. So please, these days, if you like to come back, we explain the promise of the Medicine Buddha. So beautiful, yeah? So meaningful, so useful, especially in our time, yeah? Okay? So thank you all very much for participating. So have a nice dinner and see you tomorrow, okay? Thank you all very much. Buon appetito. Thank you. Okay? Ni mo dele sen dele, ni me koyan dele shin, ni sen tatu dele pel, Kuncho Sungi Jingilo, Kuncho Sungi Nudruso, Kuncho Sungi Tashi Sho. Grazie. Ciao, ciao. Ciao.